butt, booty butt, booty butt, cheeks. Booty butt, trying to clap alien cheeks. I'm a fucking alien, bro. I was going to make the intro all awesome and Norton Fire comes on. <laughs> booty butt, booty butt, chinks. Yeah. Let me, 420. I'll keep the recording going. What up, VOD gang? But let me do that over. <clears throat> I think I look good. Greetings, VOD gang. Welcome to the UFO rabbit hole segment of our 420 12 hour stream. The year is 2021. So many things have happened over the years that would change the way you see reality as it is. What started as a snowball from Milton T. Pike 1 has turned me into a true believer in extraterrestrials. So we gotta put the foil on because you know they're listening. You know Jeff Bezos is trying to tune in right now and read our minds. Damn, Why? I can't read their brains. Why are you guys laughing? What, what's so funny? This is and serious. We're about to expose some truth and there's some shit going down. The Pentagon is releasing stuff every month now, it seems like, leading up till June. They're supposed to drop some crazy HD UFO UAP footage, dog. And this guy in the background is... Bobby. Not, not Stephen King. Bobby Lazarito. Are you sure that's not Stephen King? That's Bobby Lazaro. That's Bob Lazar. That's, that's Bobby. The man. That's Bobby. He claims he worked on stuff, Area 51. Uh, if you are interested in that, watch him on Joe Rogan. I'm going to be real for a second, though. If somebody, if you released information from Area 51, oh wouldn't God. you be in jail like that oh Snowden God. guy? Thank you, Lord. They tried, Maybe Luke. he is. They tried. They did e even worse. They erased his past and took away all of his birth certificate, social security. And made it look like he solicited a prostitute for yeah. a hand job. Yeah. All right, let's go into the rabbit hole. But yeah, Bobby Lazaro is a great place to start if you're looking for someone to start with all this. But first, we have some videos to watch. Ooh, what's this? Ah! Oh my God. This is deep, guys. I'm warning you right now. People who believe they were abducted by alien spaceships. Very ugly. Australia. This Not is human. always fun. Whoa, dude. There's two types that I see. One type is about three feet tall, very dark, um, very ugly. They're always described as three, four feet tall. They're always shorties. Is that the optimal height for a alien? A UFO? Man? Not humanoid yes. at all. The others are very, very tall. Thank you. Very uh, lizard looking. Uh, lizard? That's the first time I've heard lizard. Not pleasant. The creatures that I have seen mostly have been the, uh, Dark side the pill? grays. <laughs> And when I say tall, I'm not talking six feet. I'm talking very tall, like ten feet tall. Ten feet? Usually about three. No, to that's four uh, feet that's tall. Michael Jackson's son. Real big, almond shaped, oh, no. black eyes. It's like insect faces. Oh god. I haven't seen this many depictions of what their actual face looks like, though. The face was uh, oval. Oval. The itself couldn't have been more than three feet tall. It was uh, sitting oh, cross-legged at the what up, dude? top left-hand corner of my bed. <laughs> Crazy? Off the planet? Out of their tree? Well, probably. But Here's you certainly tree. wouldn't come here Here's to tree. Harvard University to look for support for those beliefs. At Harvard? Harvard? In the great, Harvard University? Harvard. great tradition of the great universities, Harvard is dedicated to the search for truth, the highest standards of intellectual inquiry. But now, the Harvard University Harvard. Medical School is embracing... Hand on the knee, hand on the hair. ...facing little grey men. Little gray men Show me the gray from men. outer space who actually abduct humans. Oh, God. Uh, after I... This is the dude, man. Who's this guy? This dude is like interviewed like hundreds of people who claim to be abducted. And he was the one who went to the Africa school where the ship came down and like... I watched oh, that video, by the way. You did? What'd you think? I thought it was pretty crazy. Isn't it insane? We have because... video <clears throat> footage of it we'll get into. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. I worked with 40 or 50 of these individuals. Uh, I discovered to my amazement that there simply was no psychiatric explanation of this, that something real had happened to them. Dr. John Mack is professor of psychiatry at the Harvard Medical School. Professor Mack has spent the last few years listening to some people with very strange stories. Are there common factors to these experiences? Absolutely. The, the typical story, this would be a condensation of an abduction incident, say. 
person is uh, driving along in their car. Where's like someone's actual story? They may hear a, a strange humming. <laughs> like these doodles coming up, dude. They may see a UFO up close, or they may just see the light, <laughs> powerful light coming down over the car. They feel that the yeah, car is like no when longer I'm in their to control. Draw something for like the next a thing you know, they're being game. taken <laughs> by this light or by some energy. They may and you just lay straight down, just takes you right up. <laughs> see, oh, two, bro, three, my more. homie's chilling up. Draw, <laughs> uh, hey, up hey, hey beat me up, though. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Yo what's up, boy? Yo, who's playing? Motherfuckers playing Pictionary. Stop playing with me. Yo, where the drink at? Stop playing. Yo, what's going on, dog? Yo, you got belts? You guys want to fucking play some Mario Kart or some shit? Up on this energy to... Oh, this is so sad. It's funny. But you can't so simply dismiss a man of Professor Max standing in the field of oh psychiatry. My God. Oh, they put a giant spoon in your mouth? <laughs> oh, giant oh, Q-tip? No. They're going, ew, these hum humans have fucking weird holes in their faces. It's all wet. <laughs> this human smoked cigarettes. Now he has gross breath. Just say this, no. This wet Just hole. No. This wet hole's filled with germs. Everybody and that's not to He's highly smart. regarded. Just to be yourself, but just saying. No. He won a Pulitzer Prize for his acclaimed biography of Lawrence of Arabia. What? And his current study of He's alien to show abduction his book for is Arabia? published by Macmillan. All right, I don't know company. much about this video. It looks like they're just getting into the psychology and the fucking different things that happen to these people. For those who have been abducted by aliens, there's a support group with its headquarters just five minutes. There's a support group, so if it happens, please believe me, there's somewhere you can go. People are like, I believe your story. <laughs> Gotta scratch that weave. My name is Lunatic Live. I don't want to take it off the aliens and get my brain, Damon. And I've been abducted by aliens. <laughs> Sir! And I was abducted by aliens. Sorry. Ne next video. Just say no. Next this up. This one's dark. This one's very dark. This one will scare some of you. Uh, it's a oh. little bit real. This is actual footage. I think I remember this one. No, uh, no, Louis, no, no, Louis, no, no, you're no, crying. No. Stop crying. Louis, don't no, cry. No, no, Louis, no, no. Stop no. crying. Don't cry, Louis. Stop. stop Here we go. Stop crying, Louis. Stop crying, Louis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. No need to cry. Dude, my head keeps falling off. I'm trying to read my mind. Sorry, go ahead. Feast your eyes on an actual video footage of an extraterrestrial here on Earth. Just about quarter to five, and take a look at this viral video from La Junta in southeastern Colorado. All right, Vivian <laughs> Gomez wrote on Facebook that her security camera captured this on Sunday morning. There are people on Facebook who say Don't it looks like Dobby from Harry Potter, Don't be or a Don't be ghost or an alien, or a kid flip flops and underwear. We think it looks like Lisa doing her Sunday morning dance. I don't know, Lisa, were you in the on Sunday? I know she was out of town. Yeah, that's me before uh, I used to live. Been... Oh, yeah, what is this, though? What the fuck is that? Bro. Chicken. If, if, it's, it's, what is that thing? Yo, if it's not an alien, then what is it? <laughs> can stop it. Then what is it, dude? <laughs> That's obviously a little kid doing a Fortnite uh, dance, dude. No. Just a chicken for a little bit. No. No. By, oh. Dude. I think it's like a 10 year old with underwear on his head. The camera <laughs> captured this on Sunday morning. There are people on Facebook who say it's exactly it like what Dobby. it looks like to me. Dude, it's a great cosplay of Dobby. It looks like a 10 year old with underwear. Like it looks like Lisa. Like <laughs> and his arms, too. Look at his arms. He's like, I'm just going up in the shower. I got underwear in my head. I love the arms like Poorilla oh, going down there. Like it. Mac and me. That's what it fucking looks like. Yeah. No. For real. No. Please. Are no. you starting to believe now? Yeah. Chat. Oh, God. Until somebody can explain that to me. Until. Is believing and until I saw you that. can explain it, dude. Moving on. Is this guy an alien? This is the newest. That guy's video. an alien. He has no, He's top, an he has no top lip. This guy's an alien. Also, this is the newest release of footage. This was like last week. Pentagon says this is real. Here it is. Illuminati pyramids in the sky. There it is. This is like brand new of this week. Whoa, that looks fucking crazy. Did Where you see that? Pentagon says, yes, uh, soldiers filmed that and it's real. We don't know what it is. So let's see. Let's take a look. There's a whole fleet of them. They're triangles in the sky. How the insane. Fuck, dude. No, that's just the pattern of the kaleidoscope we're looking through. No, that's just uh, a cloud. That's a cloud, bro. feet above the tail of the Navy destroyer. Some Somebody flying a kite. Damon doesn't believe Louie, do you believe? What do you that think looks about crazy. 
looks crazy, he says. What do you I think don't know it is? What it is. I, I'm not a scientist, so it could be some sort of fucking drone that they're testing out. I don't know. Mm. But mm. then why would the Pentagon look at it and be like, we don't know because what that is? Because it might be another country that's doing it, and they don't know what's going on. Ooh, could be the China. Russians. Can quote Putin's trying to survey the area. Now, Corbell says the unclassified video is part of a classified government report intended to educate officials unclassified, about unidentified classified. crafts flying. Oh, then what's that, dude? A blimp? Yeah, Lou, what's that? What's that then? That oh. looks like uh, tell me. Uh, the you show me from uh, Ratchet and Clank. That looks like the lights <laughs> of the Goodyear <laughs> Pimp. Take, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Actually, good, good call. Oh, oh, yeah, it is a screenshot from Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> These cell phone photos taken by a FA-18 pilot. What is that then, dude? That's from a pilot, a certified trained that's, Air Force pilot. That's dude. when Dr. Robotnik turns the moon into his face in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. <sighs> yeah, fuck. Come on. That looks like, a, it's like a, a jet or something. Shows three different unidentified a spiral. Aircrafts dude, this came from Mystery Oceana, Wire Twitter, dude. Including two UFOs dubbed <laughs> the you going to tell me that's not a blimp? Dude, that's a real legit website. The guy from Blink-182 is on that shit, dude. Oh, Tom Le 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 DeLong? DeLong, yeah. Dude, DeLong's yeah, they, on them. They said he's going to be the one to introduce them. Yeah, DeLong's going to be the one. What's up, everybody? I'm here dude, with an alien. <laughs> how fucking weird would it be if Tom DeLong was right this whole time and he wasn't crazy? He's going to be out there going, Oh, the... Alien things. I we found. bring you we peace. Bring. And imagine though, because that would mean that the FBI really did come to F Tom DeLong and go, "Hey, Tom DeLong, we need your help talking to aliens." Tom DeLong and is all involved. that shit is true. That would be insane. Hey, Tom DeLong is involved. What up, Classy? Classy says it's a weather balloon. Classy, Classy is not convinced. Classy thinks that's a I balloon. I agree with Classy. It's yeah. probably some sort of weather balloon or. Um, then why would the Pentagon say they don't know what that is? Because they're stupid. Well, they would only know what it is if they registered it with the FAA, right? So it's an unregistered water, uh, weather balloon? Google dude? it, he yeah. says. Unregistered Goodyear blimp. <laughs> All right. Good year. Damn the good year. They're always ahead of the game. Damn. Who is this guy? I keep seeing this guy. This is Bob Lazar's friend. He's a filmmaker. The alien, there's an alien skull right there on his table. What do you think this is, huh? Oh, no. We're going in. Do deep you see the, the smaller crystal skull? The, the smaller cranial structure of the skull? Oh we're going in. Yo, we're deep. partying with aliens tonight, bro. We're going to hang out with aliens, bro. Come June. They're going to be hanging out with us. Ow! Dude, coming in, Mrs. Cowash, love ya, this is love ya, give it up for Mrs. Cowash, Mrs. Cowash, yo we smoke a weed with aliens tonight bro, we're getting weird, Ms. Cowash, thank you Ms. Cowash, thank, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate you, happy 420 everybody, <laughs> thank you for being willing to dive down deeper with us, took responsibly, the following is some shit you've never seen before. Yeah. Yeah, so he touched my computer screen. Yeah. This is like, real footage. Yeah, this is, this no. is really real. No. Fuck. It's crazy. This is crazy. This is, is this, crazy. Is this in no right? way is this footage there altered or edited in any way. There's, there's right. no way that's after effects. This is from a, 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 a dark website, dude. Um, I don't know where we're sure. going. Where sure are they? What right. is this, Pops? Oh, you added this one. Oh, no. What is right. this? iPhone 3. Oh. Oh. What's up with your radio? What's up with your radio, babe? Pretty sure you Pops, what is this party. footage? Okay. Just watch, dude. Uh, Pedro. The truth. What's I'm scared. On? What's going on? I'm so scared. I like the VHS tracking on an iPhone. Yeah, totally makes sense. It's not, it's, it's art, it's EMP. That's ET. exactly what digital uh, noise looks like, you know, not yeah, analog man. or anything. Can you hold this? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to spill my verb. It's the electromagnetic pulses of whatever this, alien item that they're close to. Oh, they got to jump fences. You know, this is some real high level security Yo, no, shit. No trespassing. All right, my turn. My turn. My turn. Uh, the fuck is this? This is cringe, is what it is. What is this, Pops? I didn't have <laughs> no, this. No, this is not cringe. This is big cringe. No, this is fucking yeah, Pops. Yo, this is super cringe. Intergalactic cringe. Yeah, that guy almost didn't make it. I think she went like. I think she way. went over oh, there. Damn, my antenna is not sticking straight up. That doesn't look right. You think all over me. That's not a good idea. Fuck! Yeah. That really Pops, scary. This is scary <laughs> stuff. Why are you making us watch scary stuff, man? Just I'm watch, trying to, man. I'm trying Dude. to tell I'm trying to teach you something. <sighs> super seven class super yeah, this is super seven and a half. They're trying to blair witch some um, UFO stuff. Dude, are you is she alright or something? Get ready for the jump scare. 
She's phoning home. Whoa. Oh, she's going to be right? gone next time. Hold on. Oh, then you touch her and she has no face. No. What are you looking at? Babe. What you looking at? Babe. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Oh. Oh, that's oh my god. So real. Holy fuck, dude. dude it's happening. Whoa. Millennium this Falcon? July, dude. Is that the Millennium Falcon? Look out, Chewie. We're going in. We can't stop, Chewie. <laughs> So that lady. Lame. Did, she, did, so lame. did she do this? <laughs> so lame. All right. We gotta get Melissa. Yeah. She keeps walking away. Melissa? There she is. Melissa? Oh, dude. What the? Whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is stupid. No, it gets better. It gets better. <sighs> Miss. Thank you for the beeps there. Oh my god. Twins! I'm warning you guys right now, we're that, gonna get deep. That sound effects from the fourth kind. I remember that movie. A snake. Whoa. Alien snake. It bit itself. Larry, thank you guys. Fuck. That lady. All right. All right. Back to the real stuff. Sorry, Pops had to be a jokester. What? It said real. All right. Next up, what do we have? Have here? you seen this? A story true. I thought it was Pog. This one's real news. Space, real news. Space possum. I'm scared. Camera captures strange lights on camera. Oh no, that's a deer Depending ass. Depending on the Seven News app this weekend, surveillance cameras in Mississippi. Look at that. What oh, is no! that? You tell me. Oh, no! That's an alien. I've never seen anything like that. It's a goddamn alien from a different planet, I'll tell you that much. Fucking Look at the hell, eyes. Man. Nothing glows like this Dude. in our realm of reality. I didn't know that aliens could look like a deer in headlights. Sippy. Fucking no. Is that Blitzen? Yes, uh, Blitzen, no. that you? Roll dice. All Yo, the world dice. like a what UFO. Up, See the deer appear and then a dim light uh -huh. appears. And See the dim light? Not and it really. gets brighter. The f and it gets brighter? The flash of the camera? The weird shape on camera. Real and the deer shape. just lights up brightly. But these cameras are infrared. They don't emit light. The homeowners have their own explanation. Well, now, whether it's alien, I'm not sure about that, but it's definitely a, dude, a dude, UFO. Dude, now, whether dude, it's a dude. government drone dude. or what, you know, what? I wish it's nothing else. What language is that? For you. Alien? Yeah. Tell, yeah. tell me, I tell oh. tell you, an alien. Oh. Hey, well, I don't know about that. He's got a real but, thick hand cake. Hell, I'll actually. definitely tell you that much, but huh? I I'm know, a little bit of a kind of light. I kind of funny where I come from. Them deer just stand, or stare at me like some sort of freaking creatures. Whoa. Lots of them, but huh? <laughs> Speaking drone, alcoholic. Or what? You know, I what? wish if nothing else, one of them would step up and say, yeah, that's ours. Well, later in the video, there are more lights. It looks what? like headlights focus solely on the deer. Whoa. Look at that, dude. Whoa. That was pretty cool. I told you, right? That was some World of the World shit. All right, moving on. Oahu had Sky something go down. This guy's an alien. Oahu caught the attention when did this one go people? up? Howard Dushevsky September 17. Kong oh, 2. Joe, that's the question. What was it? Check what these out, see? dude. See a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to it, Howard. Look at these lights, dude. This morning, what is that, huh? Water. What is that? This is what he saw in the sky. They're just Certainly sitting there. They just chill. This is time lapse. Because you can see like the cars driving by. Do you hear that? It's from Kaka'aka. Kaka'apupu? Kaka'apupu town. That sounds like an alien planet to me. Kaka'apupu Hard to tell from his vantage point. Kaka'apupu beep beep. And then slowly a third light appears. Watch this. Hatai believes he saw about eight to ten of the lights total. Eight to ten? He believes, at least he thinks, they're probably flares. Legion Lion saw That's, this. You know Legion Lion funny? saw this, dude. Legion, you I saw this? Say, what was it? it was flares. What was it, Legion? What was it, Legion? Speak. Did you see the way it just zipped away? Are you okay, light Legion? Speed? Are you okay? Did you see the way it zipped away in light speed? Hold on, here it is. See that? It just what? turned off. Turn off. No, watch. It's going away. It's no, almost it's as if away, oh. it's almost as if it was like burning Come out. Oh my god. No, it flew it away. Like, uh, flares. Um Definitely could have been taken as something more mysterious. Why is he laughing? Um, it's yeah, pretty definitely. mysterious. Why is this guy laughing? Dude, that's absolutely no explanation of. I don't know what it was. What is smoking what it could weed? Be? I don't know what it was. Probably somebody lit a flare on the there. mountain. They're definitely really unusual to see. Three flares. Um, they, they were super bright. Um, well, flares just stand in one spot really, that long? Uh, all no. eight of them? No, dude. Yeah, that defies all physics. Then what so is it? Yo, know, flares don't work like that. They, they burn out within like five minutes. What is it, chat? 
Now we did check today with the FAA whether they received any reports. Check with the FAA. Not, not the FA. We also checked with the Hawaii Air National Guard. Check with the National the Guard. Army Schofield Barracks. In the past, when we've received reports about similar lights, the lights are right due to military training. Aliens. They don't know so what it is. Must be aliens. And so that they don't even know what it is, are. folks. We do. We'll let you know. Howard. Joe. Thanks, Howard. Thanks, Howie. Mondeshevsky. All right. What do we have here? <laughs> Another Hawaii one. Officials from the Federal Aviation Administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in this area Light Tuesday blue night. UFO. But multiple one, witnesses report here. seeing yeah, a large left here is usually good. Yeah. Chat, oh, you okay. hear this one, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean. Something is in the sky. What? What is that? What is this that? video was what taken by Misitina Sape at 826 you Tuesday night near Haleakala Avenue in Nanakuli. Not long after, a woman named a Mariah dick. spotted the That's same a giant thing. Alien. That's a flying dildo. It's a fucking cock escaped. in the air, dude. That's a vibrator. That's a ball in the shack. <laughs> Come on. I think someone went up there and did that light trick they do in photography where they like make a little pattern. Oh. What the hell is that, huh? That's a fucking cock. Banana? Horse penis? No. The 38-year-old says she's never really it's been just a believer in, sky, in UFOs, chilling. but the bright blue Dicks. objects had them so intrigued. Somebody left they a glow in the dark vibrator on a building. Following it. I don't know what it was. This one was going so fast. The journey ended it's less than moving. three miles from where Look it began it. on Farrington Highway in front of the moving. Board of Water Supply thrusting. Building after the object appeared to drop into the ocean. Let me see it drop in the ocean. Real quick. Don't miss it. Keep your eyes on it. Keep your eyes on it. She described it as being larger than a telephone pole. Zooming in. And says she yeah, never heard see it the whole thing. any sound. I bet you do. We called 911 for having, like, one cock or somebody uh, yeah. to come out. I got a big cock in the sky. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, sure thing, lady. Yeah, it's a 12th well, call we got tonight. Cocks in the sky. Yeah, yeah, real penis. Funny. Uh, real funny. My husband looked up, and he seen the white one coming. The white one was smaller. <laughs> the white one was smaller? Hey, That's racist. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm out of here. All right. I'm not, I don't I'm not trust anybody. Cox confirmed. They lost sight of the object after it passed over a nearby mountain. Oh, man, this morning, go around the mountain and find it. He asked Honolulu police if investigators. This is a next level shit. This is aliens. You're just going to let them fly away. First figured out what fell in the water. A spokesperson it went in the water. Did we ever see it zipping in the water? We didn't see that. Meanwhile, no, officials she said from the FAA the said they received see, a report from police. Of course it did. Because she doesn't have the clip where it goes in the water. Exactly. Tuesday night about a possible plane died, down in phone. the area, but had no aircraft disappear the off radar. Federal Aviation Administration no said we don't know anything. Missing of aircraft. course they would <laughs> say that. Typical. Although Mariah's had a couple days to think about it, she says she's still baffled by what she saw. There was something, though. I forget what it's called. There was a, a thing in Hawaii that was uh, big and a uh, bunch of, um, what you call them? astrophysicists were saying it is a giant um it was like a piece of rock but it was way too big what was it called chat you know what i'm talking about one of you guys are ufo experts asteroid big rock a, was it a mua mua um um a mua a mua something how do you say it how do you um, spell it amun amunana a mua oh someone spelled it right there oh maua maua oh dude they say this thing is certainly from space in a different planet, as a matter of fact. Let's see if I can pull up the footage on it. I have a video on this. Oh, you do? I okay, do. so we'll get to it. I thought that's what it was. I have a video on this. But if you want to pull up a video, let's go ahead. I just wonder if someone has, like, an actual... <laughs> YouTube. Uh, I don't have Trusting YouTube. It does look like a penis in It the looks sky. like a giant space turd. Where is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it looks like a giant shit. Yeah, it looked like a big old piece of poop. There it is. Passing through our solar system was detected for the first time. This object, named Oumuamua, it's Hawaiian for big shit in the sky, <laughs> big dookie in the sky, a big space turd, a space turd. Was and this happened? Uh, when did this happen? This was this year. Moving away from the sun, only a fifth of an astronomical unit. So where was the pattern? So it came in, and then it went out. Maybe it was a message. It came right by us and then boom, right at the other side, dude. Hmm. So that actually happened. How do you explain that, dude? 
However, maybe it had so much momentum that the the gravitational pull only curved it. Look at that turd. Did not have a comet like the comets in our solar system because it is not of our solar system. Analysis of the object was performed, focusing on its tumbling motion in stark contrast with the smoothly rotating objects we are used to observing. All hail the space turd. In addition, its speed and trajectory. I for once support our rulers. The space turd will come back to Earth and carry us all away. All hail the space. Space turd. And look, <laughs> it wraps like right around Earth and then bounces. Why would they send some space shit our way just to bounce out? Somebody oh, in has a very good point. Wasn't the space turd a thing from Joe Dirt? Joe yeah. Dirt finds a giant turd. Louis, from space. this is a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's comedy. This is real life, this is real, real dude. This is real shit, man. Real shit. But it was shit. It was actually no. from an airplane, remember, in the movie? Mm -hmm. yeah, it was like a condensed shit. capsule of, like, pressurized shit. Yeah. Quit yeah. making fun of Amua Mua, all right? You asshole. Amua Pua. I'm trying to show you the... Now, this just I'm trying to show you the truth, man. What is this? I think this everyone needs to see this. Is that guy an alien? Because I believe it. officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania were asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think... Yeah. I think we do... We do have his description. Can we take that? What is this? Yes, what is sir. this? Take his description. Hey, Arnold? It's an alien, isn't it? Okay. This is the guy there. Uh, <laughs> okay. They, they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. He's got uh, hair and face and a, a nose. nose and some hair <laughs> that goes like that. And he was, uh, he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular. Is this real? Particular hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. Kind of Chin that comes down to a almost a point. Some darker pupils. Huge Stands face. about five feet four inches tall. Very wide. A few there wrinkles. Get there it is. For yourself. Oh, and now I'm getting word Take that police in. actually caught this guy. Got him. Thanks to the sketch, no doubt. No. So here's a picture of the real guy. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. <laughs> no way. Look, I hate dude, to be a dick, dude. but dude, they really did capture him. No bullshit. I've seen that clip so many times. Um, I never saw this part uh, of the clip. <laughs> I never saw they found the guy. It looks like the drawing. You got your guy. They caught him. He looks like he just saw wow. an alien. Wow. Next to the sketch. Like I said, <laughs> head to his arrest. Where's the he got arrested. You got him. He's like, Dad, you got that sketch of me. Who we'll sketched that? I'll get him. It's apparently one to one. Guy looks just like me. I'm saying double. Uh, Who do that? The guy uh, on the left is now charged with two counts of theft. Is being held in the Lancaster jail. He's like, don't how'd you fight me? And I say, give that sketch artist a raise. I just want to know who drew the who drew the sketch though. <laughs> Bang, like, was that. it actually an officer? It's like, all right, give me a description. Or was oh. it like I drew a picture of the guy? Here is what he looked it's like. Some little kid. Give that guy a raise. <laughs> some little kid, the news anchor's daughter. What do we have here? Uh, unidentified UFO closes in on a with the picture. After see. I'm telling you Fuck guys. Fuck out of here with this shit. It's like when the moon's crazy. People go, oh, the moon's crazy tonight. And you take your phone out and you try to take a picture. It always looks like that. And you go, yep. God, it doesn't look like as good as it looks in real life. Yeah, it looks cooler in person. You know what? <laughs> Speak so for shady. yourselves. Speak for yourself, guys. Irrefutable proof. That's not aliens, the moon. Aliens walk among us. After interviewing an airline pilot who had to take evasive action to avoid hitting a UFO. Thanks for taking the picture. Yeah, I don't know, oh, sure. dude. You got footage. Yeah, where, where's the NFT for that picture? Homeboy was a pilot, man. Homeboy right here is real deal stuff, though. Okay. Fighter after pilot, but then makes a decision to move up to becoming a Marine. They don't have any footage here. They're just showing off reenactments. And underscore what's at stake for millions of passengers. Eh, it's hard to just show off the interviews, man. It's pretty wild. That is true. Man. There you go. A real pilot saying he almost got hit. Dude, the truth and truth keeps getting closer to be revealed. Oh, my God. This right, is I, actual I, footage. Can I uh, can I warn people? Like, if you have young kids, don't let them watch this. A real UFO this sight. Just keep it on my thoughts in my head. Is, oh is, my this, gonna, is this going to keep oh me up God. in there? What are you doing? All the thoughts are just getting jammed up in there. What are you doing, man? You're going to get us busted, Don't man. lie to me. <gasps> They're going to the... erase your birth certificate. Don't lie to me. All your thoughts. Don't lie to me. You don't have any thoughts in there. Are you kidding? Just make it a yarmulke. You don't have to make it snug. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Just don't let all it your thoughts out. <laughs> yes, you're I think I had it on backwards. backwards. I think I'm good now. All right, okay. good. What the hell, guys? I don't even? know what I'm seeing here, but it's just insane. H3? Just look at it. Dude, that's real. Do you believe now? I don't know what I'm looking at, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at! Oh!
is crazy. I love that your reaction would be this. What the hell, guys? What the hell, guys? I don't know what I'm seeing, and it's crazy. It's so crazy. Just look at it. Look at it. Just like. So I got out of my car, like super close to it. So I learned how to do this trick in Adobe Premiere Pro, and it's crazy. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, my damn. shoes! You run out the loafers? My shoes! My penny really? loafers! Chicka me! Louis? Really? Really? Really, Louis? Really? Sorry, chat. Keep no, that shit on. What's crazy is nobody else saw that. See, what we're doing is we are sandwiching the real stuff with the funny. That way, we keep the government off our back. Well, man. here's the thing, Pops. Mm. They didn't. They might have seen it, but they all got turned into shoes. Ig Zachdully. That's true. Everybody who saw that wow. turned into shoes. Exactly. And that's how Zapados.com got started. Yo, Aaron Rodgers never lies. Now we're watching Aaron Rodgers tell Pat McAfee yes! about his UFO experience. Dude, the god, the goat. I read an article, a couple of them. These got sent to me whenever people found out that you're coming on every Tuesday that I have to ask. So this guy's credible. Why? Because he's the best football player to have ever existed for the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, why would he have a reason to lie? He's he already lie. famous. Yeah, right? Why would he lie? And he fucked Olivia Munn, Justin. He's pretty uh, credible. He, he and really? Danica Patrick. Yeah. Okay, I got to say, this guy, I believe anything he says. All right. Yeah. That being said, let's hear what the man is saying. Let to me say. hear the truth. What's that, his hands? I'm just talking there. Yeah, keep going. That's a I just want to know about the alien thing. You So everybody tweeted me, because you and I share very similar views on a lot of things, it sounds like. Uh, Ricky Gervais, The Office, Life, oh God, Drop and Dime, Socket Signs. And by the way, UFOs, I am. Okay, the, the Every night I go, when does this guy say his thing? Stogie. I want to hear this guy say his thing. <laughs> what am I going to say? I, I want Bigfoot hunting, and they told me just to <laughs> on an alien. I am here for it. That Talk can't about be it. a real story. Real story. He was in the hills of Georgia. He had Confederate flags all over him. It was kind of a sketchy situation. Whoa, what the fuck? Can we just get to the part where the guy says what happened to him? Here we go. Dude, I don't want to hear about your Yo, family picnic. Uh, fuck your racist <laughs> rhetoric. Listen, let's get to the aliens. I met my huh? uncle. He had Confederate flags everywhere. It was scary. But he's a good guy. Trust I me. I found about 21 in me and whatever. I swear he's a good guy, though. There's a, there's a documentary called Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, I believe. This is the, he's talking about the fucking Greer guy who says, pay me $10 for the app and you can talk to aliens too. $10 for his app. I'm sorry, but I don't believe anything you say. Aaron Rodgers is going to be like, I paid the $10. And so it, the, the experience was so the $10. Dude, I've been mom. talking to aliens all fucking day, bro. Dude, They've been getting my game right. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. They showed me how to throw a perfect Hail Mary. About this organization that came out during quarantine that goes out and does these, like, uh, circles where they, call in ufos and they have Dude, video he's all in and all these different things anyway do you guys be down we can film down. it chat would you want to watch us maybe when it's safe milton comes down we go out in the desert and we fucking make a semi-circle we Dude, buy the I'm ten dollar so app down. and we fucking try to talk Dude, to him so and an, we bring good cameras on the alien seance bro i'm down let's fucking do it we're doing it 100 percent, chat Hell do you yeah. summon well, ufos like you summon satan you have to have i'm a, pretty sure that's what the crop circles that's are for, a good right? question are aliens witchcraft well, the thing that uh, Stephen Greer says, you have to have a heart that is pure, or else they won't show up. I'm out. So, yeah. like, I can't think of titties and stuff? No, you can't break the trance of good thoughts, and we come in peace. I'm out. I'll try. Otherwise, they fucking bounce. Because they go, whoa, we can't trust you, dog. Yeah. We were going to show up and say, what is that? But then you were weird. So, it's like Dragon Ball Z rules. You have to be pure of heart. Let's go Super Saiyan. Yep. Long hmm. before this happened. Interesting. 15 years ago, and I told the story on the Nerdist podcast with Pete Holmes, comedian friend of mine. Um, but I told a story about how I was in New Jersey with a teammate of mine, Steve Levy. And Steve has been asked, to, after I shared this uh, on the podcast five years ago or so, he's been asked to verify my story. and Get to the story. Um, Steve. But Do you want to share with himself on it? Yes. House Fuck yeah. In Jersey. And in, uh, we saw a, a crazy thing in the sky. What? That uh, filled up most of the vantage point that we had. Uh, it was a snowy night. It was orange and moving in the clouds from uh, from left to right. <laughs> the dude and the, the bizarre left. part that associated that was attached to it was that after it went out of sight and we were frozen looking at each other wondering what the hell just happened, we about 30 seconds after that, we heard fighter jets. And you know if you've seen a, f a flyover or you watch Top Gun or you've you know, oh, yeah. been to an air show, you know what that sounds like, the sound of a plane zipping by. Yes. Um, it's loud. It's un, you know, it's, it's got, uh, and there were three of them that seemed to be chasing whatever this was. Oh my! Um, God. I'm so oh my God! I got goosebumps. So jealous. I gotta interrupt your story <laughs> so I can talk about myself.
I'm jealous. <laughs> and after that, I would have Your story is really lacking me, so let me interrupt. We had this story that we couldn't explain. It wasn't in the papers the next day. It wasn't in the papers the day after that. That was never really talked about. And, and you say so this guy never lies? Wouldn't lie? He's the best football player to ever exist. Dude, look at He drops and dimes and on and off the field. He has a DX shirt uh, of himself. some other interesting experiences as well. Aliens. Uh huh. Mark. Oh, whoa, whoa. What up, Martin? Uh, expansive. Right, here's Martin. Uh, interaction that. Uh, Talk never faster. Got talked about or explained. What are those other interesting experiences? Oh, that's for another time, Pat. No! This guy teasing us. Aaron Rodgers needs to shut the hell up. All right. <gasps> you see, that's exactly what the government wants, man. They want you to shut up and tell you the truth. And uh, all these people, they just don't want to hear about it. I sat through all that. He needs to shut the hell up. I believe up. him. But yeah, what he's talking about is this movie. I'll mute it in case they use copyrighted music. So the craziest thing about this movie, The Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, with the Greer guy who wants you to buy a $10 app. He teaches you, or he says, you get in a circle with a bunch of people in the desert. You hold hands, you think good thoughts, you have a pure heart, and they fucking show up. But look Dude. at all the crazy footage. Dude. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. He has so much crazy footage that they don't talk about. They just flash it on the screen. And it's the most insane <laughs> shit. And he just goes, we have lots of videos. And then they just show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. For all my Dragon Ball fans, I know I really everything to Dragon Ball, but that's literally <laughs> word, like, the exact same way that you conjure up the Super Saiyan God. Oh, no, that's how you summon hit. Shenron. That too. Ah. Ah. Name any thoughts. Ah. David, they're going to get you. I think this guy, this this $10 paywall guy, just watches Dragon Ball Super and stole the plot. Look at these lights, Look though. Look at the flares. Dog. Actually, this thing is probably fine. Let me see. It has. What the fuck? The New York Times trailer. revealed the existence of a secret government program to investigate UFO sightings. It's very fast. It's, it's a very fascinating <laughs> story. This that's the guy. That's the dude, man. And the other thing, I don't know about this guy. He cries every time he's in a thing. It gets very emotional. Oh. Goes, I'm sorry. And he gets all choked up. And I'm like, I don't feel like it's... You know what it is? He learned how to Whoa, cry at an early shit, age. Tripping. And it got him everything he wanted. He gets him attention. And it's... now he knows that people believe him if he starts crying. I think it's a good stall for making up more lies on the go. He gets a lot of attention for those tears. Look at this footage, man. You tell me. He knows some <laughs> shit, dude. The Bart's the Bob Simpson. That guy! That guy, that that's the dude, again? man. He's in something to do with it, man. That guy's got something. That in, guy? Yo. I think hold Pence on. is an alien. But this guy? Who's that guy? That's guy. not human. That's Benjamin Franklin. This guy knows something. <laughs> no, Louis. He's got, yeah, the wig cap no. things that they would draw. <laughs> but yeah, when they show me pieces of paper, I don't know, dude. A piece of paper is so easy to just, I can make this right now. Give me 10 minutes of But Photoshop. it's got like the photocopy dots in the line. <laughs> oh, it's not real. Just noise. Google, Google just, paper texture and you got that. Just go to go to freaking FedEx and find the shittiest copier they have and copy a copy and copy of a copy and a copy of another copy. There you go. You, got you it. just type fax. Fa uh, yeah, fax texture. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this, dude. We're going to contact them. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to do this. communication with extraterrestrials. I don't know, These man. are photos that they get. But again, he's doing I don't know, five pure-hearted You're scared. You're to hold the hands hold of hands. weird strangers yeah, in a circle. Well, yeah, that's a good point. We give up our key, and then they, they somehow power up, and they speak to us. It is possible. Oh, all of us. Oh, see that? They got that. Cool. Us are going to know the truth. This is our moment. For the first time ever, you get to uncover the... Was that a picture of one? No, that's that lady. No. And these oh. oh my god, dude! There he is. Dude. Dude. There he is. That real footage? That like that matches the description, dude. This is what you gotta do. I gotta sit next to this guy? <laughs> yeah, you gotta we gotta dude, call. That's the thing I don't want to do. I wanna go with just it's us. And maybe chat will show up and we'll try to summon the aliens. You but having this. to go no. meet these kind of people and we actually convert the karate kid for more than an hour, I don't know, man. Yep, we gotta do this. We gotta wax on, wax off. Got a, a heart, pure heart, and welcome them on in and say, Hey buddy, come on down. We wanna say hello to you. I gotta sit next and to then, the low testosterone therapy guy. <laughs> and then the lights show up, dude. And he goes, They're here. <laughs> and you go, Shut up, Steve. You're scaring me. <laughs> you always do that. They're God damn it, here. Steve. So, yeah, that's something we're going to do. You're going to see Steve sneak off to his tent, and all of a sudden, the flare is going to end up in the sky. Yo, and he's going to go, We'll give him the tent. He's going to come out in the alien costume. We'll, back, give, him, we'll give him the $10. <laughs> Pops, what is this? This is a uh, reenactment S narration no, from uh, the great. Weird or what? Weird or what with William Shatner? Oh, I love William <laughs> yeah. Shatner. No one's weirder than William Shatner. The threat 
<laughs> dreams are just fucking dreams, yeah, though, man. man. No, Justin, it gets weird. All right, I'll, I'll keep it listening. Gets Hold weird. on, let's put. How, I'm gonna explain to you how fake dreams are. I had a dream the other day that I won Mario Party. Yeah, that's fuck it. That's crazy. Yeah, so that would you never happen. You can't trust dreams. No. Guys. I mean, I've had pretty convincing dreams where I thought like I hid money under my bed enough for me to actually check. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell? That's the dumbest thing. I don't know why I followed through with that. But sometimes you have a dream that's pretty real. You know, oh, what the fuck? I've had yeah. dreams when I like really want a video game that I get the game and then I go to put it in the game player and it won't run. And then I got to like go find a controller and then I go to plug it in and then I wake up. Oh, shit. I hate that. Joyce! Joyce is popping off this bar 20. What's going on, Joyce? The truth is out there. Lucid lunatic dreaming. Lucid dream. Joyce? Yo, thank you, Joyce. Woo! Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, Joyce. <laughs> thank thank you, you for your contribution. For supplying more. Obviously a dream. He's obviously having sleep paralysis. Or he's just having oh, the no. best cum of his life. Obviously, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh, toes are curled oh, up and everything. So many times? I've been abducted yeah, dozens of times. Literally in your dreams. Yo, go to bed with a camera. <laughs> like, have Something. a camera. Yeah, it's, no, they won't show no, up. No, Justin, yeah. when he does put the camera, it doesn't abduct him. Yeah, uh, it's nothing but static. We're I a body cam. No, it I doesn't get, work. Yo, if I was getting abducted one time, all right. Two times, all right. Three times, and I don't have a camera? <laughs> he said dozens. Pull me once. <laughs> Dozens, dozens Yo, of times. Yo, how do you get the eighth time and you don't wear a I'd be like, all right, I'm tired of you guys from abducting me. Jeez, uh, I, I gotta do something. Again? I gotta move. Like, <laughs> there yeah. it be. Hey, Steve. I gotta move. What's going so on? <laughs> uh, you, know the, you know the drill, Steve. How Let's go. Job Bend go. over. <laughs> How's over your daughter? The last 23 years. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, a hidden camera. Dude, something. The nanny cam. Something, you know? That, uh, Hide it so they don't know it's there when they go to abduct you again. Um, They're aliens, There's going to be doubters. Dude. There's going to be doubters, real. but it's real. Okay, the only thing real. that's really throwing me off, they don't show what the back of his head looks like, but I'm 90% sure there's a fucking mullet back there. <laughs> <laughs> What's I'm wrong not, with that? I can't <laughs> trust the man. Do they send a binary? signal and they get beep boops coming back? Isn't that yeah. like ones and zeros binary? Yeah. yeah. And we're not trying to communicate with a computer. And I've seen some of the ones where they're like, oh, dude, Gosky Gator. Gosky, hooking people up. thank you, my Gosky, dude. Gosky, my boy. Gosky, thank you, dude. Hooking people up. Uh, I seen the ones where people were like, "Oh yeah, there was a giant spaceship, and I touched it and it zapped me, and then I went home and I had all these numbers in my head and I wrote it down, and it's all one zero zero one zero zero one zero one." And then I put it into Google into a binary translator, and it said, "Sup, Steve." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen those, and they fucking decode it, and it's like, "Explore Earth Plan Zero One." I'm like, oh, wow. they hit the brakes. It wasn't an airplane. It didn't look like a satellite. We didn't really know what it was. Yeah, oh helicopters God. do, and they have red lights on them, too. All right. Oh, my they God. Whoa. They're the, 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 the fucking crap out of here. You said <laughs> crap? They have a high quality. Yeah, they always jam our signals, too, God huh? damn, those aliens. They always jam How us. do they always know right where to hit us? Fuck! Sneaky. Um, so this isn't factual. Where'd you grab this clip? This is from an actual pilot. The whole thing is reenacted. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, but the kids didn't have, like, footage of the actual alien. You're making people believe less with these clips. Where's one I added? Let's see here. I kind of mm. have to agree with Justin. If I don't see actual footage, I don't believe shit. All right. Well, Louie, I'll show you something real. I'll show you some real shit. You want to see some real shit? Yeah. Let, me, let me see something. You want some real shit? I don't know, dude. That Dobby thing was pretty scary. <laughs> I know. That one was pretty real, wasn't it? It's pretty intense. That was the yeah. most real. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Where's a good one here? Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's good. This one's very similar to the Zimbabwe kids. Okay. Oh, really? The Melbourne. The Melbourne kids. This is in Australia. Several Australian kids were playing during recess in a giant spacecraft have it down. And all the students had seen it. And they all say they saw it, even to this day. And they're all adults now. You tell me that's fucking fake, buddy. But 50 years later, witnesses insist they know exactly what they saw. That? They saw that. Yeah, Incredible. yeah, you're talking shit on my videos, but that's what you show. Okay. Well, this uh, this is reenactment is real. People watch. Researcher for this UFO incident, Shane Ryan. Good morning to all of you, and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Let's begin with Joy and Terry in Melbourne. Can you tell us what you saw? 
Yes, Natasha. What'd you see? Um, What'd I was you see? out playing cricket on the Oval at the time. And playing cricket in the Oval? It's so quiet. And I love it. We noticed these three craft hovering oh, above the school. Her accent's quite proper. Um, which was a bit unusual. They were definitely were aircraft. And then after about 10 minutes, we saw one go down into an area behind our school called the... God, someone's coughing and dying. <laughs> and the government took somebody out in the crowd because the story's too... The aliens are getting them. Where we used to do our cross-country <laughs> run. Someone's getting abducted in the crowd. <laughs> so I think a little bit of a rebel as I was at school. Um, I was one of the first to run through and jump over the fence and arrive at the Grange, and it was on the ground in front of me. The, the other two girls. <laughs> you you got dying in the crowd. had arrived before me, and one was hysterical, <laughs> Tanya, and the other girl had fainted. So I just looked at it, and. After a few minutes, it just raised up above me, probably to about well, 12 feet, turned on its side and went zoom straight up into the air and disappeared almost instantly. That's what Bob Lazar said he worked on. He says it goes belly up and that takes off, dude. Hmm. Stories match up. <laughs> what are the chances that Bob Lazar saw this video? Good this was point. his way after, so <laughs> all these adults would be lying. And mm. there were two other craft in the air at the time. Joy, did you see something similar on what Cirque D at were you thinking though? it was at that stage? Yeah, yeah. Were you convinced it was a UFO? Look, uh, I didn't know what it was. I d yes. Well, if that question was for me. Definitely um, a UFO. Yes, it um, was a UFO. I was actually in science class. And we had a um, st student had rung in and flung the door open and said, Mr. Greenwood, Mr. Greenwood, there's things in the sky. There's Mr. Greenwood, there's things in the sky. Come <laughs> give me Mr. Greenwood. It's a bird, you dumb twerk. <laughs> Sit down. It's a black bird. You You're just trying to find an excuse not to do your homework. <laughs> trying to get out of math class again, I right? Get your nose back in the books. <laughs> Mr. Greenwood, Mr. Greenwood, there's aliens in the sky. <laughs> Yeah, sure thing, John. Back in your chair. Uh, do your homework, huh? Quick bugger. Guys out of the with look at the aliens and eat, you eat your pudding. <laughs> Always coming up with an excuse, this guy. Boss is in this fight. <laughs> So we all Set a kangaroo in his own way. <laughs> Next thing you know, we the in the sky. Out out into the oval and yeah. <laughs> UFO trying to run me over. Yes, there were flying saucers <laughs> in this <laughs> spot. <laughs> I saw three of them. Um, but it took me quite a while Let's to right. sort of comprehend what I was looking at <laughs> yeah, because I've never seen anything like that before. You. Jackie, it's quite um, intriguing. Did you also see those flying saucers? Why would all these people get together to lie about this? Because they want to be famous? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I saw a To be on the saucer, news? I don't recall there being more than one. It's being on Studio um, 10 that but prestigious, we were down though? The back, like, yeah, why would you on anything? If you're yeah, a nobody, of. then yeah. hell yeah. Be, well, I'm turn on the telly. I'm on TV. So they all got their story lined up? That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a little too coincidental for it to be like... What hey, I'm thinking Let's it, lie about this thing. You guys down? Yo, if the news the news broadcasters <clears throat> or the news channel was like, yo, we'll give you like we'll give you a one K to all say this story and they give them all the script. Think about oh, this okay, though. Children that. have like really active imaginations. True. Stand like if back. they saw something and they all told each other they Sir. saw something and kept building on the story, they would come to believe it sometimes. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying that could be a possibility. Yeah, that's a point I made. When we noticed it in the sky. Uh, on the podcast. Um, it did some maneuvers, which were maneuvers. very strange, which is why what did our it do? attention was drawn to it in the first place. And then it came down over the so ground. Wait, 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 wait. This is a very like suburban area, right? True. So, yeah. like, nobody else saw? Maybe they did. That's what I'm saying. Like, why all, were there no well, adults who saw it? They're too whatever. scared to come forward. They're not on Channel 10. But they're brave. Coming down, so we took I off after it. She's point. telling a story. Um, Tanya actually reached the craft, I believe. Tanya. I didn't. Wait, what are those things? Uh, they had a bunch of little... It was a like big baby one. There was the Bob Lazar sport model and then the little baby drones. Um, because she came back like screaming motorcycle me, UFOs. And then I ran back with her to the school. She got taken away in an ambulance... And that was the last time I saw her. Last time she saw her. Rest in peace. Or hey, government took her, gone. dude. Yup. She saw too much. She got injected with that alien DNA. Yeah. She was going to have so an alien dead. baby. They had to take her. Yeah. I don't like the look on this lady's face. They probably sacrificed her to the alien overlords. I made it in alive.
I did not tell Mr. Greenwood She's anything. She's talking a bit much. I mean, I might be a little bit loose and fast with the details. Mr. Uh, Greenwood, there's lights in the sky, Mr. Greenwood. I swear it, Mr. Greenwood. And can you tell us a bit more about these craft? What colour were they? How big were they? Jermaine? Did they actually land Jermaine? or were they just hovering above the ground? The craft I saw was silver in colour. It was round. It did come down on the ground. Even though I didn't see it on the ground, I saw the marks that it left um, later on that day. Mm. It could move Wait, incredibly fast and it could also s appear to stand still. When it took off from the other f aircraft that were buzzing it, um, it made them look as though they were at standstill. <clears throat> right. And, and Shane, sceptics have dismissed the event as just the product of the fertile imagination of children. Uh, what's hmm. your response to that? We're not children, man. Some sceptics have, and there are well, others. Let's just say I'm not a child anymore. Sceptics, I think, who take a more serious <laughs> I'm a big, brave look man. at a story like this, a story which has <laughs> so much witness testimony. Pretty uh, slow like day news. This is crazy news. What are you talking about? Yeah. Why don't we hook them all up to Jackie Jackie like a lie detector? And all the other witnesses <laughs> who have been there, brave right. enough Studio to come 10. forward it's really and easy talk to fake about this story. Test. 96 well, not easy, witnesses but you so can, far have been happy to talk to me about the flying Yeah, I mean, they saw the saucer was flying and they all say they saw it and it was flying. And there's a bunch of those, a big one, a bunch of little ones. All right. Now, what else is some new ones? Oh, yeah. Is this the... Uh, Up front now. The oh, this is the one that was released um, last year, was it? Late last yeah. year? This was the first video. You guys probably all saw well, this Pentagon one, right? Yeah. The, the Pentagon released it. The That's that guy. This is the guy who keeps showing up. Dude, I think that guy's an alien. This is the UFO Guy Fieri. I think that guy is an alien. Yeah, look at that goatee. <laughs> and he's, he's totally releasing the little good. pieces of information to prepare us when he finally takes the skin off his face. But this and is shows the... that he has big almond-shaped black eyes ready to pierce our souls. Remember, I can see it. Luis Elizondo. Luis, thank you so much for your... You can always tell who's an alien. Um, whatever human clip. has no lips. Program, this guy has no top uh, lip. This clip, Aeros though, pretty crazy, dude. Space the pilot who took it was on Rogan, too. Was really designed to do just that. Um, from a national security perspective, identify those... Secrets things. revealed, dude. Yo, Fisherman, what up, dude? ...that we see, whether... <laughs> Uh, we see them electro-optically, we see them with radar, up. we see them... Yeah, we've all uh, seen this video, and this guy keeps showing up. Light surfaces. Then they have this other one Any where they catch it, it's a little thing. Forms of propulsion. So one thing well, I have about sure. this specific one is it's a drone from a foreign country that has radar jamming and, uh, like, different types of stealth surveillance that we don't know how to detect. Uh -oh. So you think it's just another country? Yo, China's coming yeah, for us. That specific yeah, one, but yes. the this speed one. of it, the, the speed that it takes off once they start detecting its speed or whatever, is like fucking insane. And when it rotates, though, there's a space turd oh, again. Oh, not the space turd. There's a space turd. That's not the space turd. No, that not this one. This one's way too fast to be a turd. Yeah. Is it showing it zips off? Way too fast. There's no. one where they like lose tracking on it and then they restart tracking it, and it's going like fucking a thousand miles an hour. Dude. Yeah. So Louis is getting Louis getting into Louis, it. Getting it into I like it. No, Louis. when it's real shit like this and not the you know Dobby kid, like it's interesting Louis. to try to like poke my brain. Like, what do you mean Dobby? Kid? I still think it could be a kite and somebody. Oh, they're on me. <laughs> the, you guys the ready Yankee. to see? It's gone. This is dark. You guys this ready to really see the dark. actual body that they found? No way. It's just in a museum. Unclassified. I don't know what this is. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Evidence. Dude, look at it, man. This is real shit. Who's that Pokemon? Look. It's Metapod. Whoa. I don't know what this one is. I didn't watch this one. Let me see. Hold on, Louie. I got something for you. I know what you want. Yeah. I know what you want, Louie. I need that real Louis shit. Real stuff. That Ooh, real the early, shit. early Bob Lazar. All right, all right. Let's check okay. it out. The let's early Bob Lazar is good, dude. Bob Lazar. Not everybody who sees a UFO is crazy. That our government has lied about. It's a good way to start the segment. You immediately start with that. Hiding in plain sight. UFO <laughs> information that it's withheld UFO file. Disturbing story, George. Yeah, yep. this is the early. In our government. Way back in the day when Lazar believe, came off the... and fired his Lazar off into the sky and nice. said, I worked on them. UFO perspective facility looks like, again, the dry bed of Groom Lake, corrugated metal building. Wait, so this is a real a place? Three mile long yeah, runway. Dude. And they mind their own business. You ever see stuff you can't explain? Sure. Lots of stuff. Why is it always like 
country farmers that are out in the middle of nowhere. You know, I don't have nothing going on, but I saw some aliens. I ain't got nothing too much now going on, so I'm always <laughs> looking up to the sky. Care to elaborate? Well, never somebody right no. in the city that's like, I caught that motherfucker in 4K. I got well, all my phone. There is a lot of light pollution in the city, so I can say that. It's hard to see the sky. Stop okay. making sense, Louie. These are all aliens. <laughs> all <laughs> aliens. Oh, good point. I'm just saying. No, you're right. I'm to renew with you. Shadowy Dennis this was the first time Lazar told the story. Attention. Portions were broadcast in the dark. by radio in six European countries <laughs> you seen this, and Luke? in a nationally televised Luke? TV special in Japan. This? No. No. Japanese TV, dude. They even showed it in Japanese news. Actually, nine uh, Is that flying saucers. Flying That's Lazar. <laughs> Despite numerous <laughs> before he showed his identity. I, I, remained anonymous I still can't get behind now. his name. His Laser? real name is Robert Lazar. There a young is. scientist with eclectic... It's like the medic from TF2. Like he was born <laughs> Uh, laser the medic plus uh king stephen king interests the choice of dennis the was an inside joke he says that's the name of his superior at groom lake it wasn't a joke telling it in order to protect himself he says he was hired to work at an area called s4 which is a few miles south of groom lake at s it's just stephen king doing a bit you know mm. what you might be right bizarre yeah. as that is to believe but i mean it's there just i the saw it by I know laser what the yard is and that's the thing, though. All of the janitors, the people who clean there, the security guard, all the other scientists, no one else decides to come out and say something. Because they just don't want to get killed or whatever, right? But at the same time, I want to talk to Lazar and ask him about his credentials. Yeah, does this guy have like a pay stub of like, the place he works? Has this guy ever invented anything that actually works? Or like, <laughs> does he has any proof that like, he actually Does he really know technology? Like, can he build a spacecraft? Like, does he, no. is he really. The that government good. has destroyed all of my evidence that I ever worked at these places. NDA, NDA he's talking about it, man. He's, he's he's drawing pictures. NDAs, man. If he signed an NDA and he's talking about it, he's literally breaking the law doing this shit. He should be gone. Yeah, right they would have taken him out already. I did find um, the thing where he was doing the prostitution brothel. I saw the hearing. Oh, the video of that? Yeah, I saw a hearing of it. And the guy, the fucking judge says, I see the proof here. You worked at Los Alamos and all these little, your pay stubs and stuff and all this shit. So nice. there's proof, dude, okay. that he worked there. There's proof, dude. <laughs> I wonder if I could pull it up. If I take Bob it is. Lazar. <laughs> proof that he was a prostitute? Court. I wonder if it'd pop up. He pled guilty. Oh, yeah, here it is. Dude, this is what validates Bob Lazar. Now, what was he being sentenced for? Uh, those prostitutes in the back. He made us dress he up made like his aliens. Own brothel. <laughs> yeah, after he was working for Area 51, he had a brothel filled with prostitutes. Well, he <laughs> met wait, wait, guys, an alien themed brothel. I actually watched part of this or something. You he did? met like a hooker and became friends with her. Okay. And he's like, hey, I could help friends. you run a business and help you make more money as a hooker. And you can bring all your friends in and we'll make tons of money together. Oh, he got so a, he started his own brothel. So he's a pimp. He's yeah, he's, yeah, but more of a madam. Got to keep your probe hand strong. He yeah. didn't. He wasn't slapping him. He was just giving him a house to fucking. You know. He's teaching him how to yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supply and demand. I'm sure he, he got. Said, you know. You know what? That's all that was. Is a three finger discount. He was like, "Yeah, I'm spending a lot of money on prostitutes. I got a bunch of buddies who would do the same thing, and they want to fuck aliens. They so let's get this fuck. alien themed brothel going." If you will, I mean, it's a three minute thing. Are you guys just reading this thing? But he says there's proof of all those pay stubs, of all the I W 2s, of the places he worked at that the other the other people said, oh, there's no proof. There's nothing. Surveillance manager, uh, <laughs> Lasers, bitches Sahara, better be wearing Jimmy's. Shh. Hacienda Resorts. I uh, have uh, statements uh, from uh, the Hacienda Resorts uh, I mean, he reads off the guy's entire thing. I'm impressed with all of that. I am impressed. But, dude, there is. One That's count him. of prostitution, two counts of prostitution, three That's counts it, of prostitution, four counts of prostitution. <laughs> it's so much <laughs> prostitution. Okay. <It's> <laughs> all right, all right. Whole lot of prostitution. Five counts of prostitution, six counts of prostitution. <laughs> this week in our series. All right, all right. <laughs> I get it. Yes. I get it. <laughs> Unlike. What is this one, dude? Alien Fest. Alien like Con. Many of the you guys down to go to Alien Con? Oh, hell yeah. Answers I'm sure it's awesome, man. To have seen UFOs. And I looked Ooh, out and there was this big red blinking UFO. Or claim they were abducted. So it went over this way. So many or jeerings. in some cases, both. So it went southeast, basically. You know, maybe more people Stan really Romanek do see UFOs, but they're just scared to admit it because they don't want to look like a fucking psycho. That's why on our Patreon, we're like, yo, tell us your stories. We'll believe you.
I mean, I'd believe it. As if long it as, happened to you know, if it oh, happened to hard. me, it would be like my goal to come up with some kind of story that would make people believe where, where there's no kind of doubt. I don't know how you could do that, but you'd be that crazy guy who's always talking about UFO. <laughs> Maybe. Not only captures his sightings on video. There it is. There's a little sucker that just took off. What the hell is that? What thing? the fuck? He what says he has more independent. What is that? What is that, dude? I've seen dude, shit that's like that one of those fair. They that's fucking... like one of those Mickey balloons that has an LED thing inside. No. No. I, they saw that shit at Disneyland. <laughs> it too. Yeah, it was right over our heads, practically. Got the whole family out. We all saw the aliens. We're it's picking like, eggs. And stuff. All, oh. They're out here on the fairgrounds. As they, yeah, we're watching the aliens right now. You guys saw it too. Yes, we did. That's we all saw it. I've ever seen. Wow. Wow. More documentation. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't you... just come on. They do that, and it's so annoying, too. <laughs> Is that just alien B-roll? Yeah, like the most like crazy <gasps> footage, like boom, 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 boom. I'm just supposed to know. I'm just sure. going to say the way he said, like, wow, you guys saw it too? Wow. The way he said it kind of seemed like he's the one who put it up there and was like, oh, you guys saw it. Cool. Wow. <laughs> Proof of extra oh, I'm so shocked. Contact. It's so funny to me to be a guy who's trying to trick people ew, about this. Ew, 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 an alien with anime eyes. Oh. 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 Anyone else? I, 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 I I've seen it all. Ah! Oh, respect to the king. Oh, Press in peace. Some respect on He's his name. He's appeared on Christ Larry Christ. King Live with his video. Stan <laughs> Romanek is the man who claims to have shot footage of an. I don't know how his shoulders are so high. Steven, is, is that Mike Lindell? Dude, Dude his neck is or his head Gosh, is like come in the on, middle man. of his chest. Come on, but man. But remarkably, posture, Stan posture says check. Rest in peace, his Larry King. First ever King. UFO sighting One wasn't even in the dark. I looked and there was an object. Which I at first thought was some kind of strange hot air balloon. But in broad daylight, while he was driving his car near Denver's Red Rocks Amphitheater. As I rolled down the window, it appeared to have noticed me at that point. It noticed him. It's always so personal. It noticed <laughs> yeah, me. Not all the other people driving down the highway, just you. It looked right at me. And then Where it reorientated ran. itself and literally shot up. Show like... Okay, so there's no way he got that and just turned it off. So where's the whole footage? Why not show it taking off and leaving? I would have talked to myself. I would have vlogged it. Right? I would have. Yeah, I'd be narrating the entire time. Like Jesus what is Christ, happening? I just saw this thing. It fucking flew out of nowhere, and I was just I was filming it. I didn't know what to say, so I just started filming it. I'd literally film till my phone dies. Yeah. And I would keep it still too. You want, you want to know why? Because I know people would call me crazy. I'd be like, no, here's my. Fucking evidence. They only show a second of footage. Up to about a thousand, maybe two thousand feet. But maybe that's all the time you have. Instant. Well, uh, he got this much. Up, so st stop. Speed up. And what did you capture on video? Just trying to drive and um, film. The UFO, basically. Uh, um, uh, you, a UFO. That's what it. Stan says had he to be. began to seeing be fair, UFOs it looks like all the time. Balloon, he could barely look up without seeing some strange light or orb in also, the sky. Also, what the fuck are weather Over balloons? Over the years, his wristwatch yeah. stopped they, working. They like measure the um, uh, weather, the atmosphere really pressure and stuff. They don't have like fucking well, like thermometers and shit for that. That's what they are. Hey, could they make them look <laughs> look less alieny? They just predict the weather coming up or some shit. It, need, it needs like a, a bright sign on it that says weather balloon, mm -hmm. so there's no confusion. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, you want to see the aerial school stuff? Hell yeah. This shit's pretty cool. Sorry, it's very loud. Sorry, I'm very sorry. Very sorry. So these are the kids in uh, Africa where the uh, ship came down. A bunch of kids saw it. And here's a bunch of interviews of the kids saying what they saw. Dude. I saw this one. This one's trippy. Yeah, dude. This shit is trippy. This is filmed from the UFO, dude. by the way. This is trippy. Yeah, LeBron, we're probably about to play more party a little later. Um... So why would all these kids lie? And now they're adults and they all still have the same story. Like I said the first time, though, when kids come with the story and it sounds cool, like if you were like, Louie, I saw Santa Claus and I saw his glove come out, I would believe you. And I would even be like, yo, I saw it too because I'm a little kid. I want to be involved in the story. Like, don't you remember being a dumb little kid making shit up? But all these kids running into class going, teacher, I saw some fucking crazy shit. That's a little crazy. All of them at the same time. But here's the thing. The one reason why this one's different is because the principal agreed or the yeah. teacher. That's what got me on this one. Mm -hmm. The other one, it's just the kids saying it, right? Yeah. This one, they have a principal, like an adult teacher. Yeah, dude. But it know. also makes me wonder, maybe this teacher kind of organized, like, let's play a trick 
on everybody a social experiment that anybody could make something up and we could make it true. But they would hold that on them forever, their whole life. Let them be labeled as weird. But conspiracy wouldn't you want to keep oh, it yeah. though? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That's so fucked but up. But wouldn't you be afraid of being like put to, put in jail for like traumatizing kids and stuff? Yeah, definitely. How would you feel yeah. all these kids coming up, Mr. Greenwood, Mr. And you're like. Yeah, you saw saw some shit. Huh? Oh yeah. man, people yeah. were, people are selfish. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't and care. And these kids are in a panicking on. Yeah, you fucking saw some shit. Really? Wow. Oh, yeah. Man. I don't yeah. know. I don't. I, I don't think I could believe it out it. for sure. And it's you. It's your buddy out there holding an aluminum foil on a stick, and you're like, "Fucking got him, dude." And they're gonna believe that. They're gonna believe that shit till they die. Stupid fucking kids. Somebody just flying like a fucking RC plane, and they like totally thought. Dude, it was I, a I, I. I Definitely believe somebody would do something like that. Man. I would. Man, that sounds funny kids, as fuck. Man. I would love to get a drone and just cover it with a fake <laughs> UFO mylar balloon and fly yeah. it around. So fuck. Yo, that's a good prank. That's a great I prank. In a black bodysuit. They were wearing black, black bodysuit? And I came down and I saw the funny man with his eyes here. And I saw a spaceship and there were a few little ones around it. See, the a few fact, little ones. The, few little the ones. fact they say it's a funny man makes me believe Some it's of the, the size details. of a man. It could easily be, you know, somebody in a suit. Some, Some of the children. details, too, like, are kind of weird. Like, why would the kids make up that there were multiple ships? Like, it's already crazy enough that there's one ship. Like, why would the kids be like, they said, there was other ones No, but there. they said it's the same style as Australian kids where there's the one big one. There's right. no fleets. That's what I'm saying. That's kind of fucking that's, weird. And that's different parts of the world. Why would yeah. they fucking all have the same story, man? Unless their teacher was uh, some sort of weird alien conspiracist who already... Uh, knew all these conspiracies and just kind of told the and kids just like, I'm but then they get all them. told the same version Man. of the story i mean it's easy I, to confuse children into believing something right i've just seen too many documentaries where people take advantage of others so you and said I, the, I i am all on board that they're lying so you said that colin saw it huh the principal I believe that the children did see something i believe them uh because normally children don't lie I've always told what normally children don't lie. Uh, what That's kind of kids the... are you raising? What? <laughs> yeah, I think children lie, dude. Yeah, you might want to rethink that one. Yeah, this is the dude. And he was looking at you. And he asked him, I What do you see? Like. That he was looking at all of us. That you gotta look into this, watch the whole thing. It's in a documentary, too. Now, this is filmed in like the 70s, right? This, yes, part? yeah. Dude. What's crazy about this is they filmed this and had all this footage of these kids, and then they're like, Eh, UFO shit isn't hot. Let's just canned this footage no one's gonna want to watch it, this it didn't get the clout we wanted let's just scrap it from there. and then now they're all those people are adults that's why they released it now because they're like yo let's go back to this because what the fuck like that shit is crazy how do all those kids believe the same thing yeah like when he was looking and they're adults and they're like yup yeah i still believe it man it, it felt scary what was scary about it well that's scary because i've never seen such a person like that dude what is it man oh bigger than ours dude, how much bigger than ours four or five times the size four or five times the size of ours dun, dun, dun. this is like x-files dude is this is really good even just science fiction even if you just want to watch it for that but yeah even if it's not true this is a cool video it's really cool um, people to know that we're actually made of Harm on this world, and we mustn't get too technology. Hey, where's that little girl all grown the four up? Four corners of the world to talk to each other about the experience they share. But do you think like there's a bit of a hive mind with kids where like one kid starts being very yes. charismatic and starts talking about you it? Be, and you like, might be right. Yeah, I kind of did see what you're talking about. Exactly, it wasn't exactly Pop. what you're saying, but what you're saying makes more sense to me because I'm a dumb kid. And as time and time goes on, the memory is going to get less and less vivid, right? So you're uh yeah you know that's yeah that's what happened like little fine details are gonna get lost throughout time like that true true but there's uh, a lot of kids though that's a, that's the thing what was this documentary called i forget what this one was called I mean, shot me in she's the, face. the one that saw it i think uh yeah i forget I don't know, that might be skin cancer or something yeah, ouchies. Oh, ouchies. Sorry. Oh, oh, let me see what does she say yeah i said i wanted to apologize i, I want think she's the one who interviewed them I should have taken uh, more gotcha. notice, but I didn't. I was more concerned about me and not them, and what was going on in my own sort of experience. And that's what, yeah. Man, I, like, I feel bad. I called all those children liars to their fucking face. She basically mm -hmm. said she didn't believe it because she didn't want people to judge her. 
and that's the most real reaction in a UFO thing ever. Uh, yeah. Because like, when you think about it, like you wouldn't want to tell people that you saw a UFO. Because then they'd think you're fucking insane. Yeah, dude. I know Milton was showing off this video, which is a very good video. Um, what's this guy's channel's name called? Lamino? I think Milton played the whole thing. It's like a 30-minute video. I won't play it, but this one's really good. It has a lot of... Uh, the most convincing instances all put together and done with Tic like tics. simple he does like really cool graphics but then he shows you like the footage mm. so you kind of see what it looks just like just to make sense of it more yeah yeah this one's yeah. very well illustrated with the reenactment but then showing the footage this one's really good uh milton got uh permission from this guy to air so i'm not just gonna play his whole video but definitely check this one out if you're interested in seeing all the cool shit all put together all at once. Yeah, I've never seen this guy's channel really, but this video is really good. Dude. Oh, interesting. Interesting, indeed. Um, so on Netflix, there's a document. No, there's not a documentary. It's um, oh, what's the show? Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. Unsolved Mysteries had the UFO episode. Did you watch that, mm. Lou? I know. I, I wanted. You. I forgot about it. Um, I don't know. Who this guy is either. Was this guy? Yes, theory. It's a huge YouTube channel. You guys seen this kid? He does no, like he goes not. deep he deep dives. Familiar. He does deep dive stuff. So he followed up with the people in that unsolved mysteries that all have I got abducted this day and they're all like within twenty miles of each other and like these three different people from these little towns that all had the same abductee story. Whoa. Didn't know each other. It's on Netflix. It's actually pretty interesting. Oh. Um but yeah, he does like deep dive. But all these he reaches out and then reports, he was like they all occurred on the same night. It's pretty interesting, too, because they're all pretty far away from each other. But, yeah, he follows through with these people. Whoa. Yeah, dude, they get naked and stuff. <laughs> cool. <laughs> this one's really you, good. I'm only telling you the facts is I know them over 250, probably more, but I know of at least 250 people. They Nobody tell their stories, them. dude. It's <laughs> good. Yeah. It's a short notice. Yeah, definitely. I'll bring you where we were. Yes, we're yes right. please. No. So we were sitting right here with this little fire pit that's over here. I saw the flash over here right above the fence. It's, it's always like farm flash, stuff, like yeah. Camera yeah, flash, kind fields, of. Right. So smaller. it's a weird coincidence. And then the last time it but yeah, flashed, I think because there's no like street lights we were and the sky's super it, clear. It, yeah, and right? there's but, less people. So too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they get like here, less air traffic, less all that line, stuff. So when some air traffic does flow through, they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. No, way Oh, way closer. Maybe like five barns high. Like aliens should be flying over the house right now. Like no fucking time. True. They just were moving, and they made like a circle right here. Um, kind of came together. Um, I agree, though. 2021, we have HD photos of Pluto. That's my point. But I'm tired of these blurry-ass photos talking about, oh, I caught it, I caught it, unless it's in 4K. We'd have some Shut sort up. of picture of one right by now. And, like, right? you know there's some dude every night sits out there with, like, a fucking crazy camera lens in his window, and he's looking. And you know there's people who are looking with good oh, cameras. Oh, yeah. So it's like, how is nothing being captured? So do you think there's a guy that took a picture, and it's, like, 4K, 60 frames? And it's perfect. And he posted on Reddit and no one believes him. And it just went on. nowhere. And then that's when Maybe. I... It's possible. It's Hate. entirely possible. Haters will say it's photoshopped. Yeah, like, this fuck, way, too good. It looks too I good. Right yeah, then it looks too good. We'll, we'll go sit by the lake and do it. Anyway. This so lady, she has, like, a strange one where she woke up on a table and she's like, I feel sick standing here. <laughs> you want to do it? I don't like Throwing off my chi. Uh, Who the fuck that lady? She's she spooks me, dude. She looks creepy. I don't know what happened to That's her. That's Corella Deville, bro. She spooks me. I'm like, no, 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 don't, Dad, don't, Dad. But he took so off. He's a She's in Resident Evil. It's kind of spooky, And then the only right? thing I can remember after that was being levitated over. I don't the like this street. lady. I remember being levitated. I don't like this lady, dude. And you can't move when that happens. All you can do is move your eyes. After that, I Mother can remember. Miranda being on a table <laughs> in a room lady Damascus. and the room was metallic like glass and it had a red orange aura metallic like glass i don't remember who was there <laughs> or if anybody was there i don't know People what happened tag what and playing me. games over and after that i remember being in another room with a lot of children there were a lot of children and then they would just disappear one by one by one. And then I woke up 
here on the beach. They call this a dream. <laughs> and I had horrible, horrible stomach. Horrible cancer. gas. It was oh. almost as if I had drinking a lot and I had a hangover. Horrible gas. Oh, I just I, shitting my pants. I took magic <laughs> mushrooms right before this all happened. Horrible gas. And my family was gone. My mom and my sister to this day, they cannot remember how they got home. How they drove home. Or it's so like you asked them, know. like, That's you weird. had a dream. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I thought this didn't happen. This that part happened. That part's weird to me. So the other thing is, uh, okay, what's the guy's name? He was on Rogan. He has one of the most uh, convincing or the most complete abductee stories where he was out in the woods chopping down lumber. Ship came in. He went to go see his friends. Like, no, no. Fell. They abducted him. Five days later, they find him. Whoa. And he said he was running into a phone booth, and he's like, come get me. I've been gone for five days. And he's like, I don't know how long I was gone. His family's like, you've been gone for five days. Drug she binge. said the same thing where she's like, I don't know how I got home. Yeah, Travis Walton, drug, that guy. Drug binge. This lady, no, she seems nice. <laughs> I, I kind of agree. She does kind of seem like she might have smoked meth at some point. But at the same time, five day drug binge. I'm like, dude, if, if you were missing for five days and you called me and I came and picked you up from a phone booth and you were out doing interviews, wouldn't you want me there with you to be like, yeah, I have fucking picked him up. And I got my cousin Louie, he was there too. We picked you up and you were disheveled and your hair was five days longer. Well, not if I'm trying to take all the clout. Yeah, I guess so. I'm like, where's the family, dude? But then they don't want to be labeled crazy, dude. See, that's what the I'm government wants, I'm protecting you, Justin. That's what the government wants, man. The Travis Walton one's good too. He's on Rogan and Rogan just goes, what happened and lets the guy talk for like three hours. Mm. Hey, check that one out. <laughs> Happy 420, everybody. Truth is but out they there. Saw it. Your parents I'm were freaking yeah, out, man. Louis freaking like out. Just, just oh, my mom was scared to death. I mean, my mom and my dad was fascinated by it. But then after that, they didn't talk about it at all. We were told not I think to she's talk drunk about right it. Now. Funny, because funny how that works. Because people think you are nuts. Yeah. I was actually locked in the basement. Some guy walking by. Crazy broad. Basement She's lying. Big bat. At one point I saw her digging in my backyard last week. That crazy bitch. <laughs> I still turn that off lady. lights. I blow up computers. That's I can't go in my husband's office. He won't let me go in the office. Someone I don't know call the, the loony bin. I really don't. I'll but it's bad. That. I mean, the girl that works for me, she's witnessed it before. My sinuses are messed. Replay go back. What'd she say? By my parents Something about she was locked in her basement because, because her parents didn't want her to tell what all, happened. We were told not to talk about it because people would think you were nuts. Yeah. I was actually locked in the basement by my parents at one point because doubt they didn't it. want to hear it I doubt anymore. It. I still turn um, off light. I doubt uh, it. So when you're put into a very uh, distressed mode, it's, it's very common to go into like a fugue states where you you detach yourself from the reality because your parents imprisoned you Whoa. and so you you make a reality because the reality you're in is just too profound you know that like the reality that harry potter made up when he was stuck living under the stairs <laughs> he's like i'm gonna go to wizardry school no so he says dead. she means she was grounded <laughs> locked in the basement Justin. shut up keep talking about that damn story you're grounded, young lady. You weren't abducted by aliens. We caught you doing shrooms. You're grounded. Why? I'm sick of this damn thing. It's a school night. Go to bed. My parents had clearly been taken over by the aliens. They're so they, 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 they locked me in the basement locked and took away my cell phone. Locked her up. Pops, after you said that, I think Harry Potter might just be the imagination of Harry Potter living underneath the stairs, hallucinating. Maybe. Exactly right. I blow up computers. I can't go near in my husband's office. She says she goes near computers and they blow up. Oh, I get would the, hate to be her IT get, guy. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Office. It happened again, huh, Mary? Office. I don't know what the hell they did to me. I really don't, but Ooh. it's bad. Do we have a computer I mean, right here? That's funny works. because we have a computer right here, I'm just Mary. really worried about Harry Potter. Oh. For me, she's witnessed it before. My yeah, sinuses are messed up. I still have this buzzing that happens in my ears all the buzzing. time. Buzzing. Your phone vibrating? My eyes have vibrating? never been the same since then. My, I've always had stomach issues. Yeah. That's the thing. When they Yo, get abducted, they have, like, health issues. If she said she had that. brown eyes before the abduction, then I believe aliens. Well, that's that's fucked. Fuck and you nuts. had pictures? No, and then she's like, now my eyes are blue. And That'd be yeah. fucking scary. That would be cool. Dude. That would be cool. Then that I'd be like, oh, be shit. That, That'd be like, dude, why would aliens do that? And go, eh, change these. <laughs> Just a fact with them. <laughs> Good luck, loser, telling anyone that this happened. 
<laughs> no one will believe you. It's or a prank. It's just a prank. Contacts, you know, but no, they just gave her a curse that computers won't work around you. They explode. Oh, my internet's down. Oh, down in the aliens when they got me. You'll never be on Facebook. So she has a problem with computers. Yeah. And just sinus, sinus sure. problems. And uh, the the buzzing in the ears. People have that all the time. Yeah, it's right? called uh, being old. <laughs> all, of things, all of those things all of those things you just named it's called being I old. don't know what they Problems did to me computers being old <laughs> yeah I, I had a I had saw the thing you said boomeritis <laughs> she can't see very well being old I have a hard <laughs> she can't hear very well being old wait and I also have a hard time staying up late at night I don't know what they did to me I don't quite understand music these days I need who coffee to, to stay up past 12 shut computers what down. have they done who wants to have issues going through customs I like to travel so my health has never been the same. She has problems with customs? Yeah, because there's a Because the computers in her brain. blow up. Oh, they put all the track in her. <laughs> she's got a bomb! Why she's, do you got a, she's got a satellite up no, her ass. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> I was abducted by aliens when I was 12. Oh, <laughs> why don't you say so? Right this way, man. Again, yes, with the abductees, yes. they have these like lifelong problems. And it's like reoccurring. Like They keep coming. Like They're, it's like they're, they're tracking me. They're always watching me. Like, uh, MK, that motherfucker, bring cameras with you everywhere. Okay, Nancy know. has a good point. They probably just checked her background and realized she was on the no-flight list and said, nope, can't get me. Aliens right. at work. All hey, right. You're fucking crazy. Lady. Aliens must be at work here. Debunk. Last time she got on the plane, she started freaking out. There were aliens on the wing. and then She, <laughs> she tried to open the emergency hatch to make contact. <laughs> To be off this plane, trying to open the exit door. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to get me. Where no flight. Go? For emergency. No flight zone. Speak out about it now and talk about it. I Yo, didn't Reeves. want to Jay do. Felt, I didn't want guys. to talk about it before. My so. husband and my sister thought that it would be a good thing for me to do because I had kept it bottled up. So talking about it, you feel better because you realize you're not the only person that this has happened to. You feel like you're not crazy. I believe so don't her. ever treat people. Yeah, and don't think laugh. They're, they're wacko because you How need dare to you investigate. Crazy it's people. a comedy show. What do you want me not to do? <laughs> <laughs> Say what you want. <laughs> crazy, crazy I kind of believe her, but at the same time, it's so much fun to make fun of her. You put it out there. It's subject for us to look at and yeah. see from all sides and try to reason with it. Mm -hmm. I, I get to judge accordingly. Yeah. Oh, I want to believe her. It's I, pretty I, crazy. You know I, I do want to believe her. I want to. Um, I why, want to believe. Why would you do this? I mean, you guys are saying clout, but this is not good clout. Yeah, this is like the that's worst a good clout. Point to be honest with oh, you. You think she wants good clout? She wants any kind of clout. It doesn't have to be good. This lady doesn't think that far ahead. I'm the alien lady. So now people walk she around. Looks like call she has a lot of plastic surgery, though. Do you don't understand? What? Some people get off on shit like that. I love being the crazy lady. I'm telling you. It's true. I'm I telling do know you. some people who love to be eccentric. And I'm that's like their whole personality. I'm telling you guys, I watched that one documentary, uh, Murder Among, Among Mormons on Netflix, and this guy was like, it turned me on to lie to people, like to deceive people. Yeah, I yeah, loved yeah. it. I think there's those people There's people sure. like that out there, and this lady's mm -hmm. one of them to me. I think so. That's my opinion. That's my two cents. Da -da -da. Mm hmm. We really appreciate you coming Thanks. here. Like yeah. just hearing your story, I had my hair just stand so many times. Let's you see, know, where's this the other is guy? A big step for me to have me here. There's another guy. So we would have made this turn, right? So here. he's going through what happened this, this night. This is a very bumpy road. I'm just gonna say this guy doesn't and look as, we as came crazy. Up to the bridge, this guy. One of the first things the my last grandmother lady looked noticed. Crazy. She had the cat that lady look on her face. You an know what excess mean? of yeah. light. Which didn't seem to make sense with the headlights of the vehicle. That there was a light coming through the, the Sleepy floor. Hollow? It's scary as fuck. This back road. So he walks these kids through everything that he went through with his family, full family in the car. Okay. That's my say first time. Yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, YouTube series. Fuck you from there. Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. interesting content. <laughs> this of... channel, the Yes Theory guys, they've done the, they went down with that one dude who does like the breathing technique and like jumps in negative ice water. Oh, the guy who uh, freezes himself to get rid of uh, diseases or Yeah, whatever. and oh. they all like jump in with him and do the breathing technique shit. It's pretty cool. These are all Hoth, produced yeah. very well. Good dude, that content. guy's crazy. Wim, Wim they like, he's like, they injected with me with E. coli and I fought it off. 
that shit's fucking insane. Did isn't he really it? though? They give him yeah, they have the footage where he like gets injected <sighs> and they watch him like see if he gets sick and he's just breathing through it. It's so fucking crazy. That's yeah. intense, dude. The Wim Hof shit's crazy. But again, I wouldn't do it because you see them go through the training and they all pass out and hallucinate. Because when you breathe <gasps> nonstop, if you do that It'll nonstop, you go yeah. fucking, you will fucking pass out yeah, so yeah. hard. Yeah. And you people, people much just start shaking and laughing and going nuts. And and what was that for? To jump in like ice water and just oh. chill with it. <sighs> yeah. And walk yeah, yeah. naked through ice mountains and shit. Yeah. And not die. I feel that. Yeah. You, if you've ever thing, taken an ice bath, you're, you, yeah, you're pretty close to just going crazy. There's like a <laughs> whole course. Sucks. There's a whole course he teaches you to like train to breathe in and out and then shallow in and out and then deep in and out and like intervals and hold it. And you just start, people start going nuts and shaking. It's creepy. Woo. I would not want to do that. But it did not seem to make sense with just the headlights from the car. The fuck? And so as we came through here, I'm, I was in the back seat. Giving this guy looks my brother like my geometry a geometry teacher. Yeah. Mr. Hersey. And my grandmother had turned around in the passenger <laughs> it's seat. It's Mr. Hersey. Jesus Why Christ. can't people drive on that bridge anymore? Because <laughs> aliens. Yeah. He was too young for a fireball and he could choke. And when she did, she looked over this way See, because she was in the passenger seat. So she spun this way and that she was the first one to spot this white orb or spear. And it was solid like a, a slightly illuminated cue ball from a pool table. And it was about four times the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. 80 yards from where we are. It was right there. And so we kept going. And as we started to move, it moved also, but behind these lines of trees. Now, they're much bigger now than they used to be, but it started going in the direction of us. The moon? <laughs> I love how chat questions are thinking. Yeah, you, the moon reflecting the off moon? the lake? And I'm so yeah. we're the moon? kind of I'll you chat. It, right? We're like... Right, because we're only going 15 miles an hour on this. We're going very slowly, and that's going very slowly. Maybe another 20 or 30 feet is about when my brother you saw the You know what's interesting sphere. though? Like if this guy saw the same it. event with like someone that was like somebody else, and they're like, "Oh no, that's just the fog reflecting off the fucking moon, moon with the water." It's not a fucking orb. It's just the way the light diffracts off of the the fog. It's kind of like when you go to. But uh, to him, it's like. <clears throat> <laughs> they walk among us. Have you guys ever seen how they do the effect for Haunted Mansion at Disneyland? How? What do you mean? It's the, like the they mirror? project it like yeah. against a mirror and it makes it look like a hologram, right? Yeah. So imagine if the moon was reflecting off of like the lake and then hitting some sort of like swamp gas or mist. <laughs> Swamp gas, swamp yeah. Swamp gas is a meme. I've it's heard a meme. that one it's a lot. I'm just saying swamp gas just because it's like the yeah, best way meme, to describe right. it. I've heard that one a lot when it comes to UFO footage and stuff. We go, ah, swamp gas. But he's it. literally right on a bridge oh, that's going over a river. That's why I mentioned it. Like a little swamp. A little yeah. fog. Uh, that's, yeah. that's all I'm saying. A little swamp ass. Yes, exactly. Swamp gas. But because it was on the passenger side of the car, and it was off to the right, and which looked like a sphere that was... You know, like orange, it looked like the sun. It looked orange. like something was moving in it, like in Unsolved Mysteries. I mentioned there was like an ocean wave to it. There was a swirl to it. The orange- Like fog? That's, now, now I, I, I did, I've never heard his story. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm starting to believe my story more than, more than his. Well, let's keep watching. I kind of agree, because like when clouds go over the moon at nighttime, yeah. and you see its reflection, it looks pretty trippy. Especially when drinking a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a little <laughs> kid. He was a kid. He was a kid. Yeah, yeah, he just got a blowjob. <laughs> he was he a kid. <laughs> Whoa, Pops. Let, let's, uh, let's see where, because I think yeah, he... Yeah, what you gonna do? I think he ends up on a ship, so let's see. Sphere to our right. Then you had the white sphere that originally would have been more like seven o'clock, but was now almost nine o'clock. We stopped right up here at a telephone pole. Yep, there. That's right there. This is where it gets weird for me. It's getting weird, dude. So our car was right, right here. And then what happened? This is where we stopped. And at the time, we were still trying to see where this round ball of light was. And if you look off to the left. If you can see the field, that is pretty. <laughs> they look a big fucking giant moon. It's just a big Much mirror. <laughs> there he is! Ah! <laughs> He's back! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> They're listening to us! <laughs> it comes down. It's like one of those Chinese lanterns. <laughs> 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 
Happy Chinese New Year, it's everybody. Just, it's just like on the same uh, beat. I swear I didn't send that into the air. <laughs> and just like that, my whole family, we look right over here. Oh, my no. God. It's back. Where it's was. back. And it looked like <laughs> a giant turtle shell. Wait, what? And if you go from the tree to the right, or to the tree to the left, like was about shell. how big it was. Oh, wow. wow. So it was like a football field. This whole thing? Yeah like from tree to tree, if not larger than that. And it was higher than the tops of those trees. And then? The shell itself, or the skin of it, was putting off odd colors, like an amber. And it just hovered right there. Not a sound, nothing. Yo, Next I don't think this guy saw aliens. I think he saw a super turtle. Super just turtle in the no. sky, yeah. The car. A lot of people have said it's like an orb and then it gives off colors like red and stuff. So some people have said that. Engulfs and light. Whoa, wait a minute. We're going in the ship now, boys. Nothing blinding like a flashlight. Just all of a sudden you could see everything, but no, nothing to make you squint. That stopped and everything kind of went back to normal. And then there was this eruption of cadians and crickets and frogs. Well, that would be weird. Frogs went nuts like, on you. All of a sudden, it's just dead quiet, and then just erupts with nature. But that is weird. Earth. I would, but I would fucking earth. freak out. I would yeah, have a panic attack. <laughs> that is weird, and it does sound like it came from a movie, though. You know, it does sound kind of like that. Yeah, that's only he watched a movie, like Close yeah. Encounters. Yeah, and then that's the last the thing we kind? remember from the car. So after that, I remember a uh, being in like a, a hangar of some kind. Now he's on it. Now he's on a ship. He's in a hangar. Okay. He was hanging wait, out with wait, his wait, grandpa. Wait, wait. So he's in the car with grandma. Boom, big flash. Now he's in a hangar. How does that work? Let's watch. It reminded me of an airplane hangar. Um, I was actually on a cart, and I had slid off this cart onto the floor. Hey, before you go any further, when you tell this to strangers, you got to feel so embarrassed. Like, That's what like, I'm saying. It's got to be like so vulnerable to explain something like this with a camera and stuff. Mm -hmm. What is this dude's day job like? What is his credentials? What does he do? That's like, what is he I'm a saying. valued member of society, or is he some weird hermit dude who sits on his computer all day? That's what I would love That's... to know. What if he was just like a postman, right? He just has yeah. a normal job. Like if he was job. just a normal dude, I yeah. believe him. But if he's some weirdo who sits in his basement on Reddit talking about UFOs all day, I'm not going to believe him. If every picture on his Instagram is like, believe me, believe me, then I'm like, I'm down with what Damon said, where he's like, he just wants clout. But yeah. all these people, they come out and say it, and then they don't want the clout. But if every photo was him kissy face, like hashtag believe me, hashtag I'm special, hashtag I was on the ship, hashtag Clapping they chose aliens. me, <laughs> clapping alien cheeks, I hashtag off fucking the cart, alien, dude. Mm -hmm. hashtag fuck the Martian. If he's like that, then I'm like, dude's full of shit. But they always like say it and then walk away because they know they get made fun of and they don't like it. Yeah. See that <laughs> I understand. That makes it seem more legit. Mm -hmm. When they don't actually want to tell the story and they're not like trying to sell an app on the app store or you know that kind of shit or like I'm doing a camp or we're gonna contact the aliens again. Yeah, then it makes it credible, right? Clapping I mean, I, I don't know when this guy said this shit happened, but I just feel like this would be such a traumatic experience that anytime you talk about it again, it would be hard to even get through it. That's why Stephen Greer cries. Yeah, but then it looks kind of bad too, you know. So this guy started like actually like I gotta take a break. Hold on. Because if I mean if that really happened, he's like, yo, it's hard for me to even talk about that. Like that, then I'd be like, okay, that kind of makes more well, sense. Well, hey, Bob Lazar got a insane mind grain while doing Rogan and still did it. And people are like, ah, oh, guy says he's got a mind grain. He says because it was so, so stressful for him. Doesn't he always say he gets a mind grain migraine whenever something like this happens? Though? And the aliens look just like, oh. Ah, uh, my head. I uh, need a minute. Ah, uh, change the subject, guys. I'll be with. I'll be with you in a minute. Ah, uh, I'm putting myself or, in his uh, shoes in this moment. He's trying to tell this. Like, if I'm if I'm believing if I'm believing his story, right? And he's telling uh, about when he was on the table with aliens, like observing him as a, a young kid. I could understand being like, I need to take a break. Because the one thing that they never really mention is how f like fearful they are. Especially when you wake up on a table. Yeah, I'd be fucking scared. As right? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. A fucking terrifying. You literally Wouldn't think you you're gonna to like, die. Well, Wouldn't if you, you try to escape, if you watch the Travis Walton on Rogan, which I'll send you, you gotta watch it. He says when he's on the ship, they're putting something that's like a beanbag all over different parts of his body, and there's a light on him. And he said he gets up and he grabs a thing and he swings at one and he pushed one. 
And he said pushing it was so easy because it was like a four foot like child. He said it was like he shoved it and the thing just like went <laughs> like fucking ragdolled. And he said he was screaming and cursing at them and they just stared at him with no expression and then went in a different room and he went down a different hallway trying to find a way out. When you think terrified. about it, maybe their gravity is totally different than ours, right? Well, he says when he's on the ship and he swings at one, he said that he was like screaming and they were not phased by it. And he's like, looking back, I felt bad. Like they they might have been, fight, they might right? have been like peaceful because they weren't like right. trying to shoot me or kill me. And then they dumped his ass off, and he had to fucking walk back home through the woods. Should have made friends. At the same time, uh, though, it's like they just grabbed him out of nowhere and put him in their ship. I don't know if they're trying to be peaceful, David. I get Hello. that they're aliens, but they should at least know nobody wants to be just a fucking abducted in a ship. Well, when you pick well, up a when you pick up a, a bug out of your house, you know what I mean. Do you like? Some people are nice enough to put it back. Some yeah, people but go, eh, it's fucking fighting back. Just I don't go it. to the dump and dig inside the dump and then find a bug and so, go, get out of here, bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Louie actually has an interesting take, True. right? If you just grabbed a random cat off the road, put it in a bag, put it over your shoulder, and took it home, the cat's freaking out. You yeah. know the cat's freaking out. Yeah. But maybe they're like. Why would the alien instinctively know that if know. they're capturing humans for testing? But at the same time, imagine that cat got out of that bag. You wouldn't be like, oh, well, no big deal. And walked down the fucking hallway. Well, they didn't get him out of the ship, right? We need to get him out of here. Yeah, Something. They run in like a room and the door goes, Shh! and he's like, okay, I'll go this way. And he found some way out. And then the story gets weirder. You got to watch it. It's Travis Walton on Rogan. I got to watch that. That cat, one's good. And he's. He's like the more famous one. It's really interesting stuff, but it, his is wacky, dude. He says like they come back and get him and they were like shape-shifted as humans. Like South Park? Yeah, like South Park, huh? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I was like, oh man, I was on board and then he said they shape-shifted and brought him back on the ship. Hell hey, no. Ah, Shape-shifters? Right. Yeah, right. that be like a byproduct of like aliens have like Drugs that even manipulate your thought into what you even see. That's what I'm saying. They, they alter your consciousness to the point where reality isn't even real to you. I mean, if they can be in their ship, hit you with a light, and next thing you're, you're just fucking stunned, like, who's not to say they could just fucking drug you that way? Man? Right. Couldn't they make it like just make it so there's a force field around you or some shit? Why wouldn't they move? just appear as humans in the first place? How convenient. It's like if how you can't move in a tractor are. beam, right? The why why can you move once you're on the ship? The problem with this conversation is we're humans thinking like aliens. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I totally dude. see where you're coming from. Because it's like whenever you talk about religious stuff, it's like you're thinking about religion with a with a, a human mind. Yeah. It's, a, it's a whole nother like spiritual plane. It's a whole nother layer above the human consciousness and human thinking. Exactly. So maybe it's the same thing with aliens. You know, you never know. Maybe there's just a whole nother plane where they're just higher thinking than us. Exactly. I, I don't know, but I am human. That's exactly how I got to analyze this shit. True. Yeah, yeah, that's how you have to gauge things. You right? have to. What is Barney and Betty Hill's story? Can we look that up after this guy? Yeah, we could pull that one up. That okay. one is, I think they see a ship and they're like freaked out. And their car, they like blink, and their car is in a different part of town. That's the one I showed you where they have the dash hound, and you're like, oh, they're not lying. <laughs> yes. You're like, they're not lying. Yeah, they have a beautiful yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> that big chubby fat. They have a big fat dog. Yeah. All right, let's see what I happened like to this guy. He's on the ship in the hangar. I, I like this guy. I, 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 I agree. I like this guy too. He doesn't seem like he's trying to pull a fast one or anything like that i'm not saying that his story is perfect there's a lot of holes obviously i could just poke through it like crazy but i do like the way he's presenting let's, his side of see. the story you know let's that game that rockstar made where you're a, a detective like uh la noir so that's like how i feel when i watch these exactly and i don't detect um, a lie oh, i'm the guy. same way i'm totally objective to all of them. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you have to watch his facial expressions and, and then they abducted you me. really do because that's all they got is his story that's Him all there is it. yeah corella deville sus I, 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 I wasn't following her with a lot of what she said. I think she has a lot of, like, traumatic history from yeah, when I she think was she a might child. Have been abused or something. She fits the description of a typical alien abductee stereotype. Mm -hmm. With a lot of, yeah. like, uh, trying to uh, create dreams as reality. This guy has an interesting take on a lot of things. I want to see where this goes because I kind of forgot this one. So he's on the ship, on a hangar, on a cart. Actually on a cart. And All right. I, I was on a flatbed. Onto the floor. 
It's not a pallet jack. They just like kept cranking me higher and higher. You just and described higher. a Costco, you know, sir. It's <laughs> between the, the okay, ceiling. Maybe I was kidnapped. Wall, and then a space and a tube and a space and a tube. And it was very faint, but it gave me enough light that I could see that wherever I was was empty. And then I remember just being like grabbed like this on my left arm. And I was walked maybe uh, 10 yards, 15 yards uh, to a, a, an opening where I was taken down this hallway. It was tall walls, it was all white, mm -hmm. and I was taken to the left, mm -hmm. and then in, immediately into a room to the right, where this uh, wall had bowed in like a, a round, like a crescent, like a coffee can maybe, you know how it bows inward? And there was a pocket off to the left, an opening, an opening to the right. I was placed on this, uh, like a table, it reminded me of an autopsy table because it had one pole in the middle of it. Oh, shit. And there was this apparatus in the ceiling, something hanging from the ceiling. Then I heard some voices. I heard my mother calling. And my mom's like, yeah, I was screaming for you guys. I, I don't know where I was. And she was frightened. And I'm like, yeah, I, I heard voices. I don't know for sure that was my mother, right? But I remember a woman screaming. Hmm. And my brother remembers what happened to him. But I do have the marks on my arms Joel. my brother had two puncture wounds oh, over he just had them i was like i still oh, got at them. the time yeah, yeah at the yeah, time yeah, yeah. scars yeah, yeah where's the, the pictures time. of the marks dude there's um they, these people they don't take pictures again of one of the most traumatic moments in your life and you don't even take pictures of the marks it left behind well i don't uh, know, I don't know. stab wound <laughs> in your chest know. if i got stabbed by somebody i wouldn't want to take pictures dude i gotta remember this epic moment a bro. fucking alien yeah you I'd would be scared bro i wouldn't want okay. to talk to anybody about it i'd okay. go to a regular doctor be like yo did they put something in me you know yeah uh, i yeah. wouldn't tell them either i'd be like hey doc my chest kind of hurts could we do an mri i just want to see what's going on in there just be like my god you have fucking Weird shit, your lungs aren't missing. How are you still alive? And this was what, 40 years ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, 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 I am with you. Yo, Juno, what up, dude? Thanks for the bitch, man. Thanks for hanging out. Happy 420, boys. Happy 420. Happy 420, everybody. Make sure you're high. following the channel. Thymus gland and behind his ear. You know, it's hard to say what I was hearing. And then uh, I was grabbed again and brought back into this room. And I was placed on this table. This thing lowered over my body. It was a cage that separated in two parts. The bottom cage came fairly close to me, but not close so enough to hold dead. me in place. And then the second piece came over it, and there were these holes that lined it up on the sides with each other, and there were these packets put on my body that looked like raisins. Big friggin' raisins. And I remember same thing Travis. Or bean bags. That same thing Travis Walton said. Remember like a white really? and, like shadows. Yeah. Shadows. Bean baggy kind of things. Yeah, placed on you like a big bean little bean bags all over you. Behind this white wash. Oh. And I remember being in pain and screaming. That I remember. You know. Seems like you remember all of it. it. Was, it was like bubbling hot boiling water going through my back and I'm sitting there, you know. And Ugh. then I felt some bumps to my head. And then I remember being back in the car. What? From my grandmother's perspective, hmm. when she had gotten back in the vehicle or been the first to awaken in the vehicle, <clears throat> our car was off. So she would have been sitting here in almost pure dark, waking up in the driver's seat and then drove grandma, the car. Grandma, 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 you see the alien when they put raisins on me, bro? <laughs> oh, what happened? What happened? Grandma, oh, what Grandma, happened? wake up, wake up. Wow. And then the raisins started dancing and singing music. <laughs> <laughs> they started singing classic R&B hits. All the way classic jazz back hits. through the bridge to get help. They had sunglasses. Because it was the only <laughs> spot cool. open at night. Whoa. That is the eeriest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's fucking weird, dog. What? <laughs> fucking creepy. <laughs> That's crazy. I try to make sense of it, you know, but I can't because one side of me is saying, hey, man, you got to be, you know, you got to, you know, that doesn't make sense. And the other side of me is going, yeah, man, he was part of something extraordinary. <laughs> Just accept it. And I'm like struggling with that my whole life because all I know is that it fucking happened, yeah. right? And fucking I was part happened. of something it fucking happened, I swear. And it, it changed my life. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, so kiss him. Look at, look at, look at. He's married. He has a life. That's a big yeah, ring. It's fat ring, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's that. not married. That's a class ring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you look dude. at it. It's got kind of like an alien head and a fucking <laughs> mood ring. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That I met <laughs> on the ship that night. <laughs> no, he sees it. Oops, didn't mean to show that off. Uh, whoop, My uh, beloved Glarblar. Oh, Jason, like I that? love you.
Um, I don't know if he said it there, if we skipped it or something, but he says on the Netflix one, when he's in the car, uh, everyone who was in the car originally before the flash, people were shifted around. It says grandma never drives and she was in the driver's seat. I think he said it briefly, but mm. it is weird to think, why the fuck's grandma driving? She never driven a car. She don't, she don't drive. A mm. lot of this stuff though, like I keep going back to like the power that like dreams have on people oh yeah dude dreams are pretty fucking there's like i can tier. like i have like three dreams i i can recall from my childhood same i have one i've had a couple dreams they are so vivid that you, i thought they were real yeah can i play a rogan clip he's not a network yeah, right fine. he can't take us dude down. i used to have this reoccurring dream that my house would turn into like a haunted house gauntlet the first level was all the floor would turn into lava nice and the second level was there was an evil haunted doll and that's when I would wake up. Yo, what up? Jebu Sharo? Get this subs? Let's Jay go. And then Jay one time, Boo. Happy 420, man. Yeah, happy 420. Appreciate I had a dream that I got too. abducted by Michael Jackson yes. and sent to Netherlands Ranch. That's, not even, that's, 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 that's nice. not even a joke. That actually really happened. Oh, shit. You said you what? You moonwalk It really them? happened. I had a dream that I was with my friend. We were skateboarding at um, this pavilions that I used to live by. And I was filming my friend. And he was skateboarding. And all of a sudden, this van pulled up, like in a movie in my dream. And like it just pulled away, right? And then we were gone. And oh, on the side of the shit. van, it said Neverland Ranch. And I, I, <laughs> the, the next part Where of the dream that I remember, we're like in this room and it has like all the coolest toys. It's like Mystic arcade River. Arcade games, video games, all the coolest shit candy. And it, everybody's like, yeah, we love Michael. And my friend's like, dude, I'm going to go spend the night at my, in Michael's room tonight. It's going to be so sick. No, I'm like, and I'm like, Louis. no, dude, don't do it. Don't do it. And he I wouldn't wanna. listen to me. What's wrong? He wouldn't listen, bro. What's wrong? Let's and he went, bed. and that's when I woke up. Oh, my God. I swear to God, it was that's a real dream. Fucked, Not and, a meme. And was your friend in real life? How'd you check up on him? Oh, he was fine. Yeah. Okay, good. I was, maybe it wasn't a dream. I mean, yeah, I've had a few where, yeah, I thought that was, I put in the dream, put money under my bed, and I, it was enough for me to look. Yep, yep. And then I also had um, the Steve Harvey one. I thought that was real. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought I met Steve Harvey. Yeah, I thought we, you. where I had to almost ask you guys, did that? That didn't happen. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. you, you've been talking shit on YouTube, huh? Or he got was like, fuck you up. So you'd have got me fun of me, huh? And I was like, hey, Steve, it's a joke, man. He's fuck. like, Steve, you don't know where the fuck I grew up. Well, Steve, you don't know. Detroit, Steve, where's your moral barometer? You don't know <laughs> where Steve, please, please don't, don't hurt I me. I know some thugs in the street. I know Bob Lazar. That did happen. See, it was, but it was only like 20% like of me. I was like, I should check with the guys if this <laughs> happened or not. <laughs> it wasn't a huge percentage, but it was a percentage. So if, if you were to equate that you know? that specific uh, like Sir, Steve, yes. that Steve Harvey story, <laughs> so like that's his Steve Harvey story. He goes yeah. to friends and be like, "Did that happen to me?" Like, yeah. No, you fucking idiot. He <laughs> got drunk. Yeah. He smoked some weed. Are you guys sure I wasn't abducted? But yo, if grandma, I, are you if, sure? If I had a fucking scar, like if. Steve Harvey like punched me in the face. I woke up and I had a you know bloody yeah, nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, cut lip. Yeah, cut lip. Then it would be a little bit more kind of oh, like Freddy Krueger. And you know what would have happened? Yes. Is you would tell me that story. You would have yeah. a, a cut lip, and, and like in your mind, like this happened. I'd be like, man, you fell or you hit yourself on the wall. You're just fucking stupid. It would have to be very specific. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know, dude. It would have to be so specific for you to blend dream with reality. Like Louis, in your dream, you would have had to have like. Dude, I was watching the Michael you, Jackson trial every night before You would have sleep. had to, like, in your dream... <laughs> well, I'll do it. In your dream, you would have had to, like, have Michael, like, throw glitter on you, and then you wake up and there's, like, fucking glitter. Oh, then, dude, if that happened... Dude, I, you check your pocket I would have gone down to my house. Like, oh, dude, you, oh, you, you would be one of those glove. guys. <laughs> Yo, if you had a glove in your pocket... The one oh, glittery tiny, glove? Tiny, tiny whiteies. Dude, you would be one of these dude. guys. You'd be one of these dude, guys. If you had dude, the I rhinestone be, yeah. glove, yeah, that's that's a nightmare at Neverland. <laughs> Glitter gets him every time. Yeah, oh, dude. It's my calling card, baby. A little glove right I'll in your butt. Back, so yeah, this is uh, dream, Travis Walton boy. telling his story. Oh! Joe, Rogan Joe Rogan's always got Let's the best. Let's take it back to the day that this happened. Oh man, you're you're 22. You're logging. You're you're in the woods. Tell me what happened. They're logging. Well, uh, well it's just uh, kind of looks alieny. I know, right? Yeah. Looks like he kind of is like Men in Black character. He looks like he's I know. Being, yeah. He uh, looks like Games Zed. of New York. I know. He looks like you Zed, know when dude. you're done working the hard physical Ed, labor, everybody's kind of jacked up, and there was a so whole he's lot. a lumberjack that dyes his hair in his sixties. 
I already don't like this dude. Something's yeah, off. I'll go with it. I'll Some, hear you out. Something's off already. <laughs> I'll hear you out. I gotta agree with Pops. <laughs> I didn't realize the hair, but god damn it, Pops. Now I don't believe him anymore. All right, if he's yeah, why are you lying about your hair? If he'll man. lie about his hair color, he'll lie about anything. Yeah, a guy can't accept the truth of his hair color. <laughs> How can he accept the truth of an alien abduction? Good point, Pops. Start great point. This whole podcast is great, though. Start if you guys are looking for something to listen to. Just loaded up our equipment. We're headed out. Reminds me of the Mike Lindell, my pillow guy. Yeah, so there I was. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> there I was with my pillow. I was very tired. Lifting on my pillow for <laughs> till night. I was very, very tired that night. I was hanging out with Mr. <laughs> Donald Trump. And I was laying on my pillow. And next thing you know, they're trying to cancel my pillow sales at Costco. I just got a body pillow and it was big head and big black eyes on the pillow. Big, big, eye. big black eyes on my pillow. And I was holding it, trying to go to sleep, and it was crazy, and it abducted me. Like, yes, God, it was like a beanbag all over my body. <laughs> Dude, when you do that fucking voice, it kills me so much. There I was. Glow coming they put the two pipes inside of me. One in my face, one in my butt. Like <laughs> Start chucking. Dude, sounds just like Justin. There's a goddamn. Sounds exactly like Justin. <laughs> There's a goddamn light coming through the tree. Oh they try to God. probe me right in my fucking face. <laughs> first I thought. Or first I thought. No <laughs> I knew he reminded me of somebody. <laughs> I didn't notice his voice is pretty, it's pretty close. Yeah, you know what? We, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, and, my stomach. Yeah, one's in your thought, mouth, one's in your butt. Was, <laughs> one's in your mouth, one's your butt. <laughs> That's how they probe you. The aliens they get you. Break your butt and you die. <laughs> on the hill up there. On the hill up there. <laughs> like, oh That's, my God. Why you, That's why you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> They gave me this idea for a pillow where I chop up a pillow and put it in a bag. He started having these crazy dreams. Now I can't unhear the voice. You said something really strange. Something really strange. Caught my... you, think, you think Walton's oh, watching man. the stream right now going, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. I tried so hard to make people believe Justin. Try to tell the truth and they'll make fun of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Jay Boo, Mr. Titty Twist, and Budgie, uh, thank you guys. Check one this one out, thank guys. You. <laughs> started looking, but nobody said, oh my God, what's that, or anything oh like that. God. It was just kind of an idle curiosity at first. At first. But when we <laughs> burst into the Stop clearing, it. where. I can't watch this. He's, tell, that voice. he's telling a traumatic story, Lou. Listen to him. <laughs> I'm not laughing at I can't him. Listen I'm to him while you're talking mean, like that. <laughs> It's a terrible, horrible thing that happened to this poor man. He's trying to tell you, and you're laughing at him. How no, dare you? Stop laughing at my voice. Stop laughing at me. It's not funny. We can stop. see the source of this glow. I can't. I can't. Uh, <laughs> it was just. I think we ruined whoa. this interview for people. <laughs> it was just Goski. Goski came yeah, in. Goski. <laughs> I started playing with my. I, I, Start playing with my butt. I, Every single time you press play, <laughs> Chad goes, I, I, I swear that's just the talking. <laughs> uh, I thought, I thought oh, it was just no. a uh, take off. And then my head has been marinating. <laughs> Damn, you got sweaty under that dude, thing. Yeah, I was sweaty. marinating in there, dude. It's <laughs> oh. I, I'll, I'll let the aliens in. It, Holy man. shit. Start probing my butt. So when you say in the oh. clearing, so you're, you're, are you driving on a dirt road? Yeah, you're... it's a dirt road. Trees are real thick. This was a part of the contract we hadn't cut in Zero, yet. thank you, so, uh, uh, tr uh, trees were a lot thicker there, except for this clearing. <laughs> so and, uh, <laughs> so uh, exactly uh, like them. <laughs> we weren't the only ones who saw it. We found out later. Oh shit! Uh, we weren't the only ones. On fire. We weren't the only ones out there. Uh, uh, <laughs> we knew we were in, alone. in the area. Uh, saw it, you know, um, other people had seen it. Hunters and, uh, and uh, fishermen uh, over there at Black Canyon Lake. Canyon Lake. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, the movement that they I'm trying described to hear what is what the crew described when it left. Um, um. <laughs> and, uh, I can't. Of I didn't see that. Uh, what, 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 um, what did they, they describe? Uh, they described uh, this glow <laughs> rising up. Read the closed caption. Yeah, I'll, I'll oh, just do it okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. I'll just and do it. I'll play the spooky off, music. And the... I'll do it myself, all right? <laughs> Northeast. And and there were some people that probably did. <laughs> Is it matching up? Let me know. If it, yeah, I'm just reading. It. Let me know if it matches yeah, up. Yeah, it's good. It's good. There's one guy who was just deer hunting, and they 
worked in military intelligence. And uh, <laughs> he uh, stuck by what we, what he and his wife saw, and they were both off together. And <laughs> another guy was at Black Canyon Blake, and uh, bam. I won't well, mention any of those guys' names uh, unless they uh, want me to because uh, um, I found out later that there was the my pillow <laughs> <laughs> investigation. Nobody talked about the time. All right, it's good. It's good. I like that. That works though. It works too. Good. That's a whole lot of ums and uh. Oh, even uh that's that's the thing. The guy off. talks real slow. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, Spot what on. What we were doing with the uh, the brush that we cut was piling it up. There were piles. Okay, so he's were, piling up the brush. He's like a writer the way he describes it. It's a little bit too much. But Let what's get, his story? I, I, I'm sure sorry. They're, they're chopping down, lumbered, working hard. Bam, bam, we work hard. <laughs> bam, we play bam, hard. Bam, kind bam, of thing. Bam, bam, bam. I think even my uh, other brother, Dwayne, he initially took that approach, but... He kind of it's bounces all over the place. Let me get to the. Try, I mean, this is a story you've told so many times. Get to the part where he's gets well, to I it. I don't try. It. It's something I try to block out, but uh, people want to know. Uh, it's un it's unforgettable. Uh, get it's to really it. Hard. Yeah, it's unforgettable. Really hard. Um, what happened next? Um, <laughs> so this guy's known for telling this specific story, right? You don't think he has like a fucking ten minute just hard. 12, just beats lined up. Sure, saying I'm a lot, dude. After all this time, that's what I'm saying. After all this time, how many he's times he's had this? For this. How many times I've he's had to Jesus, tell this story? I've got the Jesus letter story memorized in the back of my head. Right? I know you do. There's so many. And I'm not going on an interview uh, with Joe Rogan about my Jesus interview. Story. Uh, there's so many. Uh, uh -huh. Um, and then uh -huh. what happened? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, -huh. uh -huh. If you're abducted by aliens, kind of you don't forget color. that. How sweaty is my head? Oh my uh, god. Kind of a softness to it. Gross. Was, I tried to tell you. It's like, oh my, my god, uh, dude. My head's of dripping. Light shooting out. It was just this. Uh, um, Travis Walton like to steal of, our brains. Of, of light. And Look did it seem to come Hawaiian from a specific uh, part of the craft? The space turd seemed to be glowing. The ua 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 So um, get to it, dude. What happened, Travis? The parts weren't glowing. It wasn't so hard. It wasn't glowing that you couldn't look at it. But it had a metallic look. Okay, it. he takes a long time, uh, dude. Uh, Joe's the most patient <clears throat> interviewer, I will say. He's um, like uh, Robert Frost describing like, an alien. Then what happened? Uh, corporation. T -t 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 today, Junior. Yo, J-Man. J-Man says I can't. Yo, J-Man. I can't. I can't. Happy 420, everybody. J-Man. Happy 420. But I don't think... Uh, I don't think I'm... I don't think these things have just one type of craft. I think there's... Get to the Many story. Besides these other incidents, but um, <laughs> God damn it, guy! <laughs> no, this is um, after this experience. Other dawn. So you see this thing, this, uh, this like, disc-shaped craft. Yes. Yeah. And and then what happens? No. Then what happens? Uh, it started to move and started to get louder. Whoa. Louder. Yeah. It was uh, the guys in the truck heard it too. Uh, um, there was a low uh, um, thunder is kind of a rumble uh, that you actually sort of felt more than heard. Uh, and then there were other high, <laughs> man high pitched frequencies. Or cough drops. Anybody got some cough drops? Of, uh, 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 we need a dub with this voice. It already exists. The My Pillow dub. Go check it technical out. Technical college. And, and they were really interested in what the sound was like to try to you know, compare that with the uh, theories sound. that they had. Two times speed what might be. Yeah, the yeah actually, propulsion. brilliant. Let's try it. Let's, try it. let's see. Uh, let's see uh, if it helps. The increase in volume. It, it suddenly got better. Increase in volume. And you know, at the same time, the guys in the truck were screaming, "Get away from there!" You know, let's go, let's go, get back in the truck, let's go. And uh, which would have been the smart thing to do, but as soon as it moved, it startled me. So I just ducked for cover. I ducked for cover. Uh, there was a log there. I, I so he down ducks down log, under a log, and they were screaming, "Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!" And uh, I uh, didn't need to be told. I was just gonna, you know, stand up and run away. But see, when I when I jumped for cover, I, I I went down and forward to reach where the log would hide me. Down and forward. And uh, that brought me closer to it. So when I stood up, mm -hmm. at that point, that was the closest I was to the object. How close? Go two point five uh, speed. I can't. It was still like eight or ten feet away. Eight feet away. But that was when the 
energy discharge happened. Discharge. Um, I've worked on a number of theories about what might have happened. At the time, uh -huh. some of the other guys in the truck were thinking, uh, I mean, immediately Steve said, it got him. Like, you know, if you shot a deer, you, you got it, you know? Right. And so... Uh, it got him! It might not, not have been... <laughs> Let's go, boys, it got first, him! It was some kind of stun gun It got travels! Uh, Let's go! Maybe it just closing that gap uh, <laughs> allowed this energy to leak to ground through me. And... Uh, like static electricity or something? Yeah, one thing that really uh, weighs heavy in that direction is... Uh, that when uh, I found years later that the uh, they uh, they have satellites or something that record the number of lightning strikes and that area has the highest frequency of lightning strikes of any place in the continental United States except for the Everglades. The Everglades has a bit more, but that's over water. So Whoa. that adds to another theory. What were they doing there? Uh huh. You know? uh, so that area that has a high level of lightning strikes. Do you think it makes sense that they're observing that, or is that is that why they were there? Do you have any thoughts about that? Well, uh, until up until a few years ago, you know, you walk down the rim road, and you, if you see a tree that's been hit by lightning, you can always see it. It's a strip of bark that's just blasted out of there. Stop it's giving all theories. Air. Just tell your story, old timer. The lightning strike. Here's it, it what I think the, they were doing. The uh, sap to steam in. I said, what, what's that? And she says, that's when lightning for a very unique um, tritonite. Those are supposed to have very special. Oh, now they're talking minerals so, and saying? stuff. Back catalog. He's yeah. talking minerals. Yeah. Stop it. Now, if you want to stop the aliens, you got to get Shungite. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of that. Come on. All right, For the low price of twenty five ninety nine, you can have my personal minerals that I make. My minerals. Real. And great. with them, it's real. said that you might be more likely to be abducted. Walking right up. Uh, it was real slow. It was dim. Oh, uh, slow. My consciousness was kind of like in and out for a while. And I didn't know where I was. Where am I? The pain and the feeling that I was mortally wounded, something uh, something was so wrong inside. I, I felt like I was dying. This, ain't right, it's wrong. this is what really fueled the panic. You're like, I'm dying. My minerals. Creatures. He laid eyes. Uh, He's on a table. Course, laid eyes. You know, all of the uh, mental programming that we get from Hollywood that uh, aliens are invading monsters. You know? uh -huh. Didn't help. Uh, uh -huh. But I instantly associated this feeling of, of dying with pain with them so i was combative immediately combative dude uh, where were you i was lying on my back on a raised table there was a light above me um uh, it was not real bright it was um not so bright that i couldn't um see you know see the outline of the, of the fixture but uh um, you know, fixture um, like? you know kind of like that <laughs> only much um, larger <laughs> um, um, just a soft uh um, glow and uh in the movie, there's a little bit of striking on the part of the aliens uh, against me. Uh, that didn't happen. In the uh, movie? Flashed out. Uh, uh, yes, the they made a movie based off of his story. What movie? What is the movie, chat? Do you I'm know? Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't put, me I, to put you on the spot. I felt really weak. I didn't have enough strength to, to do much. So when I my Fire in the contact with okay. him, he just Fire fell back. Okay, okay. Is that Very, a good movie? Has anyone seen it? Unexpectedly easy into the other one. And I rolled off the table. Yeah, we should do it the, the movie dub. And, uh, they came around the table and the three Star of them were coming towards me. Up. And I just <laughs> grabbed something from behind me, an object off of a uh, shelf there, and started swinging it at me. Fire in my ass. It was just some large, uh, long cylinder or rod, uh, glass, some clear material. I wasn't studying it. I was looking at them and swinging wildly, screaming threats. They stopped. So he just asked him, you grabbed a weapon and started swinging at the aliens. He said, what was your, what did you grab? Is there long metal glass instrument? Like, dude, you didn't fucking look at what you grabbed? He says, long metal glass. Well, he doesn't know what it is. He's just like, some long He's metal just glass. describing you, what it looks like you, if he doesn't know what it is. Dude, you could describe it way better than that. Just saying, it's little... <clears throat> And I was Big. planning. I, I kind of see what Louis saying Captain. though. Like, if something was so foreign to you, you couldn't really describe it, right? Like, if I saw an Xbox controller for the first time, and somebody's yeah, like, maybe. "What did you pick up?" I'd be maybe. like, yeah, "I don't know. But... It was plastic, and it had letters on it." Yo, imagine throwing a a, a a wave bird at your grandfather and then taking it away from him immediately. How would they describe that? Okay, okay. You yeah, but are... there's still things just that saying, you can relate saying. it to. He like, says metal glass rod more fully, just making my way past them. The only doorway I could see was on the other side of them. And it looked like a doorway? Yeah, it looked like a doorway, just a, yeah. you know, a doorway. And what did they look like? Yeah, uh, you know, I guess what did they look like? What description nowadays? Uh, very large eyes, uh, hairless. Um, two so eyes. Oh, it looked like Joe Rogan. <laughs> nose, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think he's just pressured by Joe. Yeah, a gorilla like appearance and uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, look, a lot like you, actually. <laughs> and real hairy knuckles. A lot like you. Hairless, big forehead. Dude, oh. what if all of a sudden that weird space that they're filming this shit in just took <laughs> off into the sky? <laughs> no, look at the background. It's totally a ship that oh. they're on. <laughs> ah, oh, my God. It's happening again. No, 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 no. I didn't see oh, it. Happening. Speak or no change in the expressions. And uh, to me, that uh, in, in the face of all the screaming and uh, the fear that I was... Uh, Projecting uh, their lack of reaction yeah. probably just added right. to my panic. But uh, did they feel like they were a living creature, or did they feel like they were a robot? Like, well, they were without expression. I'll say that. But you know, I've had forty-five years to think about that. Could they have been synthetic True. beings? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's yeah. interesting. To survive the trip through space. Yeah, it could have been like AI. Yeah, right? whatever their droid is. That's interesting, right? That's interesting. That's interesting. And take. droids. In more recent years, I think, well, maybe if they're telepathic. And it's developed enough to where they don't need to talk. They also don't need facial expression. Right. And so their ability to communicate with each other would be much. Uh, now he said he dyes his hair. That's all I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Same. All I see is that the dyed hair and the my pillow voice is all I hear, and I, I, just, I just picture can't. him with the with the uh, Mike Lindell pillow calling <laughs> Donald Trump. Hey, is this you, Donald Trump? <laughs> no, fuck you. Oh, no, it's me, Travis Walton. They're hacking oh, our phones. Got him. Got him. Got him. I was abducted by Alan. Yeah, I can't please. take this guy seriously now. Please, please believe me. I just Have can't. Speech and frowns or smiles or whatever would become obsolete. No, frowns yeah. or smiles. Well, that is a, a theory about where human beings are headed. If we continue yeah. to evolve, that we will one day reach this point where the biological limitations of our monkey bodies we don't need our body away we'll have uh, different abilities different abilities to well why would we need to uh, frown or yeah. smile if, if you can save much more <laughs> just for men mustache <laughs> <laughs> just for abduction <laughs> a little bit of road gain in there Rogaine. It's, uh, it's the blend the aliens really like. Hey, Joe Rogaine. I mean, Rogan. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Oh, fan like, of your product. Sorry. Big, big fan of Joe Rogan. on my mind. I mean, Rogan. And oh, also, God. their their musculature. Did their musculature Rogaine. look like smooth? Like they had no no they, clear muscles? Yeah, they were pretty smooth, very light. When I when I hit them on, it fell back into the other one pretty easily. He, he, like he weighed hard. So this dude like, is flexing. That he had a royal rumble with aliens. He literally fought with yeah, aliens. Yeah, that's where it gets a little like. I was fighting him. I'm a real badass. I fought the aliens. I fought aliens, two of them. I put one in an arm bar, snapped them along. Oh, oh, stay back, you I fought the aliens and uh, I won. I snapped his little arm. I got him <laughs> and threw his body and used one to hit the other one. And then I jumped as I was surrounded on the ship and I was fighting them all and they're coming at me. And I said, No, you can't take me. So I grabbed a middle of glass. I was beating their heads. I killed three of them and four or more came out. Tombstone yeah. pile drive. One of them. <laughs> and then I jumped off the top ropes and then I gave them the people's elbow. Ah, Dude, oh. bragging about pedigreeing gray aliens. <laughs> Five foot three gray body slammed, I body slammed him, and then I was jumping off the edge of a flying knee right in his face, Joe. You know Do the you move. smell <laughs> what humanity? I was like a Croatian king throwing smell kicks it. in their face. What Travis is cooking? <laughs> Go on. That was the most terrifying experience of my life. But when I, when I tell the story and, and try to relate to people, I'm trying to communicate what I experienced and how utterly, utterly traumatic that was and how it was so devastating. I was, you know, on the verge of catatonic for weeks after it happened, but uh, uh, I don't I don't want to relate this story in order to uh, inspire fear. Backtracking, well, backtracking a little time. bit. In order to flax. <laughs> Didn't mean to flax, I don't but want the clout. I'm kind of important, kind of a big deal. I wrapped my arm around the alien's right. body and I said, rock bottom, and I slammed him into the... <laughs> I want to believe him, you know, because it's, Dude, it's literally hard. in a bad position, but I, I really want him. It's hard, I man. I want to. But the thing is, though, like, uh, you winning a, a 2v1 against aliens, bro? That's what I'm saying. Like, if they can literally flash a light <sighs> and you're abducted in their ship, bro, when you I was, wouldn't be able to just push one and be like, I'm out of here. <laughs> when I was nine years old, I fought Perfect <laughs> Cell and Majin Buu, and I won with ease. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, bro. Even if the story was like, they were about to do some tests on him, hit him with that initial zap, and they're like, oh, what the fuck? He's not supposed to wake up yet. And he's just like, woke up early from anesthesia type shit, you know? That's what I'm thinking. 
Isn't that but happen I mean, even with like some humans like in surgery? Don't people wake up yes. way prematurely from anesthesia and they're like doing brain surgery? Like, oh shit, oh, yeah. you're not supposed yes. to be awake right yes, now. I that think does so. Happen. That does but happen. I, that's but fucking I think terrifying. If they're smart enough to do what they've done up until this point, they're not gonna make any mistakes. Yo, I just got a crazy theory. What's that? What if like a normal alien abduction, when it goes right, you're just sitting in your car at a red light, you disappear, you come back, you didn't even know anything happened. And you just continue on with your day. Hey, man. But then there's the weird case like this guy where their sleep juice or didn't work all up. the way. Yeah, didn't work. Shit fucks up. Yeah. Didn't work. That's why he's saying he got oh, to. Oh, so I see. You're saying normally they neuralize you like men in black? They should erase but all he got happened. to wake up well, and have a royal Well, you don't even know rumble. something happened because they place you exactly yeah, back where you were. Everyone's had that moment and we're like, what have I been doing for the last five minutes? Have I just been on autopilot? Yeah. Whoa. I just, I've transferred from point A to B. And I, I just, I, I existed through that moment. It's a trip. Louis saying like that, would, that would be the the abduction normally. His went, his was botched. Right. Yeah. Yo, when the aliens, like the alien manager reviews those two dudes, <laughs> these androids, like, what the fuck? these androids let him go, and now he's on Joe Rogan. <laughs> He's broadcasting to the entire galaxy Great. that we're a bunch of beta cucks. He's snitching on us. Great. Fuck. I knew we should have killed him when we had the chance. Yes. We can't. He pushed us. And I now mean, he's famous. They made a movie. We tried to fight him. He pushed us away. They uh, made a Hollywood film about him. Starring Sigourney Weaver. Fire <laughs> in the sky. Jesus fucking it's Christ. strangely accurate. Oh, we fucked up big this time. <laughs> yeah, Glargon. This grass, Glargon. Oh, Glargon. We're going to be in big galactic trouble for this By one. the love of Glinglong. <laughs> Don't worry, Xandar. If we look... He's dying his hair as an old man. Nobody, nobody, nobody will believe it. Nobody will take into his account. He are will you, be the laughing stock of all humanity. So are you telling me they plant stuff on him to make him seem less trust? Like they dropped some just for men mustache in his bedroom. Oh yeah. And he went, oh, I don't remember buying that. But See yeah, the aliens will try it. <laughs> Google, <Jess. laughs> God bless I don't him. remember buying this Perfect. Store. He bought it. He bought the bait. Oh, now he's, he's, he's dying his mustache. He's uh -huh. using it. He's really using it. <laughs> oh my God, he's using it on his mustache. <laughs> Can you believe it? He looks so stupid. No aliens one will believe the, him. With the Google AdSense to get the targeted advertising. They Make just sure said you use the, the promo, to have promo code. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, only Solo just got off work. Hope you had a good time. Dude, Yo. we're still going strong. Yeah, Thank man, you, you got a lot out. to catch up on, man. The truth is out there. Bro. Kawika coming through. Native Tech. Loch Ness. How you guys doing? Happy 420, Good everybody. to see you guys, man. Rewire his brain so he says, uh, and um, a lot. Discredit him. <laughs> he will be discredited. <laughs> if he starts to talk about us, give him a migraine. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Bob Ross. Bob Ross, get him now. Think about it. That I think that it was unwarranted that my reaction was uh, just due to my ignorance of the situation. I shouldn't have been so mean to them. Um, <laughs> I really should have pushed them. The fact them. that I was returned at all is pretty significant. You know? but, yeah. uh, so this guy Such is abducted by aliens. <laughs> Such a flex. And he immediately starts <laughs> throwing hands. And aliens are supposed to think we're cool. They wouldn't let him go, dude. Well, that's why you got to be like Stephen Greer, and you got to sit with like ten people with pure hearts, so they'll talk to you. Yeah, because this guy fucked it up for everybody. Yeah, this he's... fucking guy. Yeah, is why I had to hang out with Stephen Greer he for an yeah. afternoon, dude. Oh, they were great. landing over elementary schools and hanging out with the children and like having good times, and then this guy fucking punched, Stone Cold this guy punched one, one. one. But then he pushed us, and now humans cannot be trusted. This guy fucking pushed one. To be dude. fair, though, if I. Pushed a fucking bitch ass alien to his ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm bragging about it every single day. Oh, of my true. Life. Oh, dude. Single day, every single Yo, day I'm, of my life. I'd be like, these hands. You know what these hands. Bitch, did? you don't know what I can Man, do. I'm bitch slapped the alien across the face. I don't know. Face. I'd be scared to talk shit because like aliens have some sort of technology. I ain't afraid of bitch ass alien. I knocked two of them out. Yeah. Hey, round yeah, two. Let's yeah. yeah. at your house with a laser round gun two. and shoot yeah. through the fucking no, wall. If they had the technology, they would have used it then and there with their weak ass. I say, beam me up again, round two. Let's go. I know how to take them out. Let's go. One and two. Yo, let's stream this shit. Yo, I would, want, I would want to throw down again, honestly. Uh, the yeah. idea that these uh, beings are just uh, kidnapping people willy-nilly and uh -huh. doing terrible things to them, I, I don't s subscribe to that theory. Now, I try to separate what I actually experienced from things that I've concluded just from thinking about it. But it seems to me that, uh, I mean, they've been seeing, uh, 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 observed, there have been sightings for 
all you know, before I was born. Had you heard of the Betty and Barney Hill story before you were abducted? No, oh, I probably had. Uh, but if I, I thought if they had, I got a lot of my ideas. Pause I mean, uh, yeah. He just admitted that he heard other abduction stories before his abduction. That's where I got my ideas. Got to work through the script that's somehow. Where, that's where I worked out my narrative. I mean, did I say that out loud? Happy Gifted Subs. Happy Kraken. Slap the Kraken. that. The Kraken has been released. 50 Gifted Subs. The Kraken. Yo, 50, dude. The Kraken. Show him some love. Go. Come on now. My Woo. God. Show him some much. love. He got a bunch of people with that one. Happy 420, everyone. Dude, you just abducted a whole bunch of humans in that one, man. Happy 420, dude. You fucking got a lot of them. Thank you, Happy Kraken. Yo, thank you, man. My man's popping off on 420. Thank you so much, Hell man. Hell yeah. Going much through love, that brother. rabbit hole. Ad free experience for 50 people. That is insane, Kraken. Thank yeah. you, dude. Happy 420, man. We be punching yeah. aliens out here. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> like they're much. bitches. Free uh, pillows for everybody. I'm punching aliens. I'm locking them right into a happy my pillow. Nice pillow. You free know what? Alien. If I could have a battle royale with some aliens for some my pillow rights, I'll take them. Let's do it. Whoa! Let's my fuck. God! Fucking go. He said, oh, you thought I was done? 50 mouth. Let's fucking go. 50 mouth. Happy Kraken is popping off at an alarming rate. Let's go. No way. 50 gifted subs. I love you guys, dude. Happy Kraken, man. Thank you, Happy Kraken. We love you, dude. I'm not afraid to say it. I love you, too. Love I love you, too, Kraken. <laughs> Diddy loves you, too. Here comes Diddy. <laughs> Alright, DD, calm down. Thank you so much. Cracking another 50. That's a hundred gifted subs. Thank you very much, dude. Whew. Thank you so much, man. That means the world, man. An intergalactic uh sub spree. We're going oh, up yeah. a rabbit. Not only together. are you giving back, you're giving back to the community, man. That's Check. what we love. Thank you. Spam your thank you. Emotes. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta say, I, mean, I have to steal a bunch of your guys' emotes ideas because you guys have the best emotes. That's exactly right. On Twitch. Hey, can't man. blame you. Uh, flattery is the best compliment, right? Hey, you know what? Maybe uh, some, uh, copying somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best form of flattery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, imitation. Part of the imitation. Imitation. Thank you. I, I imitation. expect no less. Imitation is the best form of flattery. So thank you. Figure out the yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, man. I've had some intentions. It'd be a done deal. They wouldn't be sneaking around, hiding, and, uh, um, yeah, I'd I, I leave with that level of technology. Look at it this way. Human understand. beings, just virtually everything technological that we have is just a few hundred years old. Before that, the most technological thing we had was fire. And in just uh, the last uh, uh -huh. 50 years, last, um, the uh, progress of um, our science has grown to oh, far overshadow everything we had accomplished in thousands of years before that. So I'm thinking um, uh -huh. what astronomers tell us about these other star systems is that they could be hundreds of thousands, millions, or maybe billions of years older than us. So if we accomplished billions? the kind of technology that yeah, we have true. in a few decades, what is possible with millions of years of development? Right, I mean, possible. we couldn't begin to recognize what they're... Say he's just going off on his theories now. But yeah, I mean... Everything he's saying now is like why you should not discredit his, his story. Why you should believe Why me. you should believe what everything I have to say. You should totally believe me. Yeah, so his like, believe me because the, the, the universe is a, a 13 so, billion years old. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. And you can't prove that I'm wrong, so fuck you, believe me. Yeah, I, I've been fucking Chad's mom because the universe is 13 billion <laughs> years old. Damn, it's a lot of fucking. It's millions of Damn. years of fucking. I said it right now. You heard it here, folks. Damn. Millions and billions of years it's a lot of, of fucking. a lot of clapping. It's a lot of clapping. Uh, you guys wanted to see, what was it? Betty and Pooh? Betty and Robert Betty Hill Poo? or something? Betty and Pooh? I know their last name was Hill because I thought of Bobby and Peggy I don't Bill. know if I have that. You I might have picked that. I thought I had seen it on something referenced somewhere, but... Jesus Christ! Oh, happy cracking, Yo, man. Oh, happy cracking. Dude, it's going in. Thank you for all the gifted subs, man. You're out of control. Thank you so, so much, man. Love you, homeboy. Can't thank, thank you, you enough. For, for real, for real, for real. Thank you very much. Dude. That is a lot of gifted subs. Dude, cracking is popping off right now. 125 gifted subs on a 420. Let's go. Thank you so much, man. So that is dang. so fucking awesome, man. Making everyone's day right there. <laughs> I like the second uh, video thumbnail. It's great. Yeah. The yellow people and the aliens. Big mm -hmm. fake TV show. <laughs>
Betty had a vacation from her job as a social worker for the state of New Hampshire. Barney worked for the post office. Neither believed in UFO you, reality oh, yeah. at that time. They had never read a book oh, on the topic. Oh, look at a puppy. Look how fat that wiener dog look is. Look at that puppy. Oh, Betty like her some chocolate. Dee Dee getting jealous. I'm sorry. Oh, I she, love weenie dogs. She's afraid to get abducted. Oh, it's weenie, okay, Dee Dee. Weenie dogs are really. Come here, Dee Dee. I'm sorry. We're That's a big wave. I'm so, sorry. It's so cute when she hugs you. Like We're looking that. at other dogs. Oh, Love you. your daughter. She's so oh, cute. They took a brief vacation to Niagara Falls, <gasps> onto to Toronto, onto Montreal, and they were driving home through the White Mountains of New Hampshire on September 19, 1961. I want to see what happens when in this story. They had uh, a close encounter with a UFO. Uh -huh. It came so close that it was within 100 feet, Damn. estimated by them, of their location. Uh, Barney got out of the car with a his binoculars, he looked up at it, and according to the Air Force report and the report that they made to the National... She's very nervously reading this. Very nervous. Very. Oh, she's probably scared everybody's going to think she's crazy. No, very I nervous. I swear it's that lady from she's the week, weakest link. Oh, yeah. A little bit, a little yeah, bit. actually. Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena. Uh, Always 100 feet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that has been pretty regular. Oh, come on. All the stories. What? Very shortly thereafter. 100 feet away. Oh. They observed a craft that was approximately 100 feet <laughs> above them. It was extremely large. What? They told the Air Force That's that it, it was as large as a dinner point plate at arm's length. What? Keep in mind that an aspirin will cover the full moon at arm's length. This was oh, very like that? close if you to were them. Like, oh, oh, I'm a, look at the thumb. moon. I have an aspirin in my hand. Yeah, you put your thumb oh. up to it. And you go, yeah, how do you measure small. something like that? That's really, very, uh, dude, I, yeah, I'm so bad with measuring distance like that. That's damn near impossible. Yeah. It was observed by at least a dozen additional people. It was on radar on the Air Force's two radar stations and a follow-up study oh, by the Air Is this the same Aussie morning so news channel dead. that we saw the other one? Probably. Uh, which one? Which, what, what the, are the, with the, the, the two, like they saw in the suburbs, and it was like four different boomers, and they were all talking about like the, the, the big ship with the little ships. Is this like, is this morning show in Aussie land, like, just all about alien abductions? Yeah, I don't know. Very slow news over here. Dude, Very slow. Happy cracking another 10 Dude, gift cards. Dude, are you fucking I'm serious? Feeling it, sir. Thank you. Happy 420. Woo! Happy 420, man. Thank you. Happy 420. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kyle. Oh, this is in London, and the other one was Ozzy. Yeah, okay. Therefore, stated I just think they're the same that place. This was a bonafide it does look sighting, e exactly not just the same. a blip on the wow. radar screen. So, wow. so uh, he got out. Um, Bonnie got oh, out. Oh, it says London. Oh my god. Yeah, it says right there, Bonnie. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to point that out. You I didn't want to be a dick. I, mean, I wanted to see how far you would that. go calling them Aussies, but you know. Uh, well, I think they're the same thing. Spazmat. <laughs> Thank you, Spazmat. Put his binoculars Spaz out. Mad. What did he see through? Does this really surprise me? What he saw at the windows of the craft with his binoculars? The early reports state that Barney saw figures standing behind the windows on this craft. They were dressed in black, shiny uniforms. Just like the kids in Zimbabwe said. They did shiny, say all black. Shiny all black. And he but didn't they draw something else? They, they drew, drew something They different. drew something completely different. Well, Bob Lazar says we have nine different craft. Bob Lazar can suck a dick. Well, that's convenient for all this fucking hearsay shit. Bob Lazar did suck a dick. He did a brothel. <laughs> fucking get his dick He sucked. didn't work in the brothel. He was just the money you, man. How do you know that? Okay, you got You didn't think he got his dick sucked from Yo, those you own aliens? a brothel. No, Justin said he sucked a dick. You own a brothel. Wait, you don't get down. <laughs> probably sucking dick. I was sucking dick? Uh, alien dick. <laughs> what? What? All three alien dicks. Can you what? blame him? If an alien asked you to suck his jag on, would you do it? Ah, man, ah, that's tough. Would you that's put my... your finger in his thresher? You'd be I like a know. celebrity I in the know, galaxy. Dude. How many credits is he going to give me? As being, quote, somehow not human. Close quote. So, she um, is just look, she is terrified reading this. He very it's like a gun to her head on off the camera. He got run towards the car because a red beam of light came out of this spaceship and he ran towards the car, said to Betty, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here. And then Yo, Happy Crack is what popping the, the F dude. off right now. God damn. They can't stop him. Can't stop him. a lot of good things, man. Thank you, Thank you, man.
goodness. He's cracking it. Crack it. Okay, cracking. Yo! Let's go, dude. Getting it cracking. Cracking's popping. Congrats to all you lurkers. Thank getting you, man. Ad free experience. Let's go. There was a, a noise, a sound, and they felt this sort of feeling come over them, and then they woke up and realized they'd lost two hours of time. They oh, just shit. lost two hours' time. I would want to know what time of the year this was for daylight savings. You know, this reminds me of that episode of the X Files um, where the guy gets ab abducted, and when they get abducted, time just erases and they just end up back in their car. Like, yeah. That's pretty fucked. It's one of the first episodes of the, the X-Files, actually. It's, it's really good. It's pretty fucked you just lose time. Two hours. Boom. What happened? Well, 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 hold on. But doesn't, like, sleeping feel like time travel? Yep. You always go forward in the future. But both of two people at the same exact time in a car? You, 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 your wife, right? Sure. You sleep, you, you, you both, you and your wife sleep at the same time. Do you think, well, you wake the, up and it's, oh, it's 7 a.m. We've both been transported into the future. But this story isn't in this daylight. I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm just being hyperbolic. Okay, yeah, sure. I like to be skeptical just for the sake of the argument. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. I want to hear the story, though. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, Barney became terrified when uh, he began to think that there was a plan for him, and he said, quote, that he was going to be captured like a bug in a net. He ran from the field. I'm going to be captured like a bug in a net. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, Uncle Bob. That's such a weird way to say I'm going to be captured like a bug in a net. He was standing in back to the vehicle, uh, jumped into the car, and started to race down the highway to try to escape from this craft that had, at that point, moved over the top of the vehicle. He told Betty to roll down the window. She did. Roll she down looked the up. She expected Bye. to see lights. There were no lights present. All she saw was blackness, <laughs> even though care. it was a bright light night. The moon was about three quarters bright full. Bright night light. Uh, she rolled the window back up again, and at that point, the car started to vibrate. She and Barney heard a series of buzzing sounds striking the trunk of the car, and uh, suddenly they found themselves in a new location. That's pretty fucked, man. You're, That's crazy. You're driving, thing goes over the car, and the whole car's vibrating. That's and pretty nuts. Baby, open the window, I'm gonna caught like a bug in a rug. What? What? Barney? What's that mean? It's, I picture it in black and white, like fucking the beginning of Wizard of Oz. And they're in the fucking da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Oh, baby, we're not in Kansas anymore. I'm bugs in the rug. So people in chat are confused as to why she's reading the story. This happened to her like grandpa and grandma her or her aunt, aunt and uncle or something. Yeah. And she says and she can died prove it. it happened in the 60s. She says she can prove it because I think she has an article of some physical thing from it at the end she shows off. I think I might have seen it. And they were. Oh, look at, the, look at the dog. Was the dog oh. there? That's a fat dog. That's a big ass dog. Look at his look belly. At it's a big wiener. His belly doesn't stop. The dog's been abducted with wieners. God damn it, Betty. That damn dog eats better than I do. <laughs> oh, shut up, Barney. He's better than a bug in the net. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. You what? never put your bug in my rug. I'm never making you that stew again. I told you to watch that. Walk that dog, bitch. God damn it. Glizzy Bet dog. Glizzy dog. <laughs> that glizzy's getting so fat. God damn it, Betty. <laughs> Look at my gut on that dog. That's a, Chad, yeah. don't put Daisy. That's mean. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, Chad. Daisy's seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> she's all about the wieners. Dude, Daisy now, whenever I go over there, she's always just begging for food literally the whole time. Yeah, it's her existence. <laughs> We're 35 so cute, though. miles down the road with very little memory for what had happened in the interim. They did recall that they had encountered a roadblock somewhere along the way. They had also observed a fiery orb. Uh, they did not know what that was. It was a vague memory. Later they realized that it was moving, but they were not moving. Well, they drove on to their home in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So the, the orb is another thing that the other guy said, where it gets a reddish glow. Like yep. a warm, fiery kind of glow. Mm -hmm. Yo, hold on. Saying we forgot to mention something in our fast food tier list. Wiener <laughs> oh schnitzel. Oh. Wiener schnitzel F tier. I had to put that out there. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Glad you remembered. I had to get it out there. All right. <laughs> and found evidence that something unusual had occurred to them. Well, Betty's they... dress was torn in several locations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I was just telling a amazing story about my grandmother being abducted. Go ahead and cut me off. Uh, where are you going on? <laughs> what color was it? 
Uh, Dankest of Danks Heavy. Thank you, boss. That's fine. I, I was com coming on to that because it, because the the, the you, zipper on her dress was broken. His shoes were in such a mess that he had to throw them away. And your concrete evidence, which we said in the introduction, is is quite interesting. Show me. Um, the the pink powder. Uh, explain that. Hmm. Mr. Bubbles. Betty's dress was torn in several locations. There was a two-inch tear in the zipper fab. Wait, wait. So uh, that picture of her grandma or whoever the fuck those people were is in black and white, and then this picture is in full color? She still has the dress. This oh. is like today. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Okay. They that took sense. samples of it. You can see they cut it out okay. to test it, okay. assumingly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fabric. Uh, the stitching at the top of her dress, a one-inch tear in the thick zipper fabric, the dress yeah, was torn crazy, from waist though. to hemline, and the hem was torn down on one side. It indicated that something had happened that Betty could not remember. <laughs> it had scissors. been in fine yeah. condition. Oh, well, yeah, because she cut it and sent it to labs, mm. labs to, to test, test what oh, the When she put was. it on okay. that day. The pink she powder. folded the dress up when she arrived home and put it in her closet, knowing that she would have to repair it. The next time she took the dress out, it was covered with a pink powdery substance, not the entire dress. Some of it remained blue, but the pink powder discolored the fiber in the dress and degraded the fiber. I feel like her head's about to explode. <laughs> like scanners? Yeah, like she's telling too much. She <laughs> said way too much. <laughs> and then trigger the bomb. <laughs> and then, and then her dress and a <laughs> big powder. <laughs> Boom. I feel like that's about to happen any second here. I Do you, you feel have like that right now? Guys, what was it? It is one of the pieces of concrete evidence. It has been analyzed in at least five scientific laboratories to date. And uh, the uh, finding is anomalous. They have found proteins on the dress. They have found so oils calm. on the dress. <laughs> proteins? Oil, skin oil, you know, stuff that comes out of your head. Yo. Oil. Yeah, all the, all Dude, the properties of, all the properties of, you, of semen, I'm sorry. She's just got protein whey powder all over her dress. <laughs> Poor she's just trying dude. to fucking work out, dude. The aliens bukkake around. Damn, they got around. They're just going to town. Or even man, worse, he's hitting different. Damn. Or even worse, just other human samples well, of that's men. That's what I was saying. And then Barney's like, "What the hell's this all about? Aliens? Difference? It was aliens. <laughs> do you remember when he went to sleep and he woke up? He wore that dress down in that bar. You told me he was going to behave. Shut up. You didn't. You didn't. <laughs> Baby, you didn't come home last night. What happened? Aliens. Abducted by aliens! The aliens! They gathered around. <laughs> well, what's, your, what's that goo on your mouth there? Aliens! You, you, Chat is just. She got cummed on. Alien jizz. Oh my god. They know that they did Poor not lady. belong to Betty. I know. The dress is most deeply saturated with the pink substance in the areas where Betty stated that the these non-human entities actually touched but is it, is it, the dress. Is it of this planet? Is it uh, aliens or not? Now her head explodes. <laughs> well, it, well. They were not the able is... to determine whether or not this was of this planet. Certainly some of the material on that dress was. Uh, there was okay, dirt. Stop. There... Uh, they can't determine if the substance was from this planet. Well, think about it this. It either matches elements on the periodic table or it doesn't. Yes, exactly my but point. Are the elements on the periodic table only our elements or are they all the elements of the universe? You know what I mean? I think they say the universe is made up of all the same shit, right? So you yeah. think that thing has 500 nucleuses and, and <laughs> people would be like, oh my God, we discovered a whole different type of element. That would change the whole world. Yeah. No, they go, I don't know what the fuck this is. It's fucking a dirty old dress with jizz all over it's just it. <laughs> Dog hair and jizz. Yeah, there's a fat dog yeah. hair on it. That's why they cut the squares <laughs> out because they didn't want the dress to have jizz on it anymore. Oh my god. It was bacteria. There were that those sorts of things that <laughs> would be on any uh, article <laughs> of human clothing. Clothes, oh, boys. It had been sitting in a closet. Well, for it, a long it period really of time. Print it, boys. It's a complete mystery, doesn't it? And it's absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us. So, I can prove it. I mean, I, I, <laughs> that's I, hardly proof. I mean, I can prove it. I don't know. Comments turned proof. off. I wonder why. Comments turned off. Interesting. So hard to believe, <laughs> man. 
so hard to believe, dude. Dude, I love this shit, man. This shit is so funny to me. I oh, love going down the rabbit I hole. I love it. I rabbit love hole's it. fun. Interesting. Um, God, of all the abductees, though, these are those are pretty good ones as far as it goes. What's this Brazilian one? I don't know. That's what true. Is. The, the the grandma is kind of like uh like Monica Lewinsky. She saved the alien jizz dress. Yeah, I gotta save it. I'm gonna uh, take a PGD before Mark. Part. I did not have alien human relations with that human woman. <laughs> Glargon, we know you went on that trip to Earth and you took an extra long time. I did not. Let's see what this is. Hair. I know this is National Geographic, so maybe just be careful. But let me see here. Um, track down three primary witnesses who reported. Oh yeah, this guy's big in the whole thing too. He's the one Casey who directed. Casey Yeah, actually, it's like oh, his yeah, brother. Yeah. Uh, this guy directed the phenomenon. The phenomena. Phenomenon. The phenomena. <laughs> Uh, the Phenomenon movie. Milton told me to watch that. that one's the best one. Yo, really? Gay Frost, thank one, you so much. Dark Sedank and Heavy Arms, thank you. That one dives into the aerial school and all that. You got to watch that one. Hmm. Is it on Netflix? No, I had to rent it on Prime. Oh. Yeah, it was a bummer, but it was worth it. It was interesting. It's I've cool. got my ways. That's cool. And this guy directed it and made it, and he didn't give me wacky, kooky vibes. This guy just seems like a legit... Did geek. he try to sell anything to you? Just the fucking movie rental. That's fine. What are you going to do? You, gotta, you, you want people watch to watch a movie, right? yeah, they got to pay for it, right? Yeah, I don't know. With these guys who are filmmakers, I'm like, isn't this shit so important? You just want to upload it on YouTube? But they always want to make a movie. <laughs> the guy worked hard, right? But they, yeah, I get it. You know? Probably put a lot of money into it, right? Yeah. If, I found, think, uh, if I found alien shit, no paywall. I'm putting it up. That's all I'm saying. I agree. If I had some sort of knowledge that could change the earth, I wouldn't <laughs> hold it for myself. Dude, I'd put oh. it out there, man. I'd uh, want Twitch people, Prime, by the way, Twitch Prime. I'd want people in on this. The live alien. Hello, it's your James. <laughs> I'd like to start off by saying, but this is like, you know, um, the holy grail of witnesses for me. So I am like so happy to be here right now. Um, Can you describe to us what happened in January of 1996? 96. Okay. In Brazil. Pode descrever pra gente o que aconteceu em janeiro de 96? A gente estava voltando do serviço que ela trabalhava. So, uh, it was around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This was not the usual way that they would take to go back home. E olhei, falei assim, só para elas assim, gente, olha ali. They're on their way home. She saw a little creature. What the fuck is that? It's a reenactment. Oh Calm my down. God. God. Calm down. Dude, you can't just do that to us. Come on. I got scared man. too. Uh, you just fucking oh, show. Dude. They have to. Yo, there's a rule. You got to put reenactment somewhere. Bro, I thought that was real. Dude, you can't just. And what is he doing? He's like creeping over there. He's doing graffiti. Um, nothing. Oh, jeez. I've been caught. <laughs> Yo, Ray's what up, dude? It's all you chat. Dude. Chupacabra. That was really sweating. Oh, my God. Yo, that looks like the alien from. Uh... Yo, it looks like the I'm blue alien. Yes, yeah. that's exactly what it looks like. I'm blue D, I'm blue D, I'm blue D, I'm blue D. It was like a little person, but with no hair whatsoever, red eyes and three horns. Red eyes and three arms? Or three, three horns. horns. Three horns. She pointed to the other girls and started running the other way. So this alien was like, Fucking some ass down in Brazil and trying to run back to the ship and got caught. I don't know if that's an alien though. That might be a chupacabra. Oh yeah. Run! Oh no! Oh my God! Run! If they all had the opportunity to speak. But wait, wait, to wait, the... wait, wait, wait! What the fuck is that alien even doing? That's what I'm saying. Why is he like creeping? Like, oh shit! I've been caught. They found me. He just lurking. looking at some Brazilian booty and got caught? He, like, attended a Brazilian booty workout class and then fucking bounced. My mo my homie Zumbin out here, and he got caught. Three ladies walking home caught him in, like, a remote area by a brick wall? Just jerking and pissing by a was brick wall? Was he spying on people, or was he just doing his own thing? I wish they would describe it better. Right? I would have so many questions. People said Machamp. Yeah, dude. Bro, it <laughs> is Machamp. He's he got the three things. He is, dude. Machamp is Machamp, Ron! Look at his Machamp! Oh my god, Ron! Oh god, I don't got my lightning badge. I can't train him. It's too high of a Ron, level. Ron! 
And if they all had the opportunity to speak to the world about their experience, what would they like the world to know? Ah, para mim não foi boa não. Eu, eu se fosse para me passar por isso hoje eu não passaria. They said it wasn't a good experience at all. That's the message you want to relay? Is that it wasn't good? Hopefully yeah. there's more. Well, I, well, I mean, like, it wasn't good. You come up on an alien that doesn't expect you and it turns around and freaks out. I'm pretty sure you'd be pretty freaked out. But I feel like, dude, he had like a skin like a walrus and like his eyes were like translucent and they could see through it and you could like see in your eyes and like his horns were like made of like wood and well, stuff. How do you gather all that information as you come across a scary fucking thing that's looking at you and then you run away? Like, you so can't... if you walked in on an alien in broad daylight, I'm not gonna you sit wouldn't there be able and... to remember specifics? I'm not going to sit there and study its features. I'm going to get the fuck out of there really? as soon as I see something that scary. You would scary take looking. a mental screen but boom, I'm Dude, I wouldn't even think, oh, it's an alien that's here to talk to earthlings. I would be like, oh, fuck, it's a monster. Run. <laughs> monster. Right? I feel like it's monster. probably. In this case, I honestly feel like it's just a goat with mange. And uh, they saw it. And they got be. scared. Oh, well, actually, now that you say it like that, it kind of like. Could be. It has the horns wall. and everything. With like a broken leg or something. You know what I mean? It's like weirdly biased bush. If they now I'm being a skeptic. Choose they wouldn't go through it again. Hmm. And, and only people who have been through what they have been through can tell what, what, how they felt and how did it all affected their lives. How has it changed their lives? Como isso afetou a vida? That is a lame question. That's the uh, shittiest question to ask. Ask them like, did he, I, was there a ship nearby? Did you, I don't know, dude. Did he say anything? Yeah, was there a look? Was there an expression? How did the experience change your lives? How to change my life? Let's see. I'm really scared all the time now. Yeah, now I have this story and people think I'm insane. She said it affected everything, like from friendships to work to school, people getting away from them, people thinking they were, you know, crazy or something. Huh. Alguém pode chegar não foi assim pegamos e levamos para tal lugar. She just says that she hopes that one day... Happy crack and love you too, man. crack it. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Love you, dude. What's up, man? She will, you know, her word will be taken seriously, and they'll know that she was always telling the truth. It's just, like, the struggle of wanting to tell my story and no one believes me. That's all it ever amounts to, it seems like, you know? That's what makes the alien myth, or not myth, theory, seem so real, right? Because... It's something you wouldn't want to admit if it happened to you. So it adds a whole nother level to the mystery. Like, maybe there's people out there that this so did happen to them, did. but they don't want to fucking talk about it. Dude, that'd be Kraken said my bank is so mad at me, but here's 25 more gifted subs. <laughs> Dude, Kraken, thank you, man. But we can't thank you enough, Kraken. Uh, you just Kraken, made much people love. 420, man. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. You, thank you, dude. You're doing a lot for the community, man. Thank much you, thank love. you, thank you, man. Make sure you guys all check out the brand new dub that went up, too, man. Oh, yeah. Next make point dub. Big, thick one. Well, I'm, I'm, um, uh, yeah, um, I flew all the way out to Brazil for you to tell me you saw yeah. a three horned thing with red eyes and that's it. Uh, yeah, I wish I had more questions. I, lined um, up. Uh, uh, that's uh, it. Um, this is what regret feels like. Yeah. You dude, imagine catching yeah. a flight all the way out to Brazil for this. You hired a translator. Oh my <laughs> God. And you, yeah, you flew the, the camera. Oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, oh, yo, man. you're telling me something else. Cause you I wish I had a different question to ask. Oh, yeah, you better make uh, up a better story. I was just like, I don't want to talk about it. It ruined my life. You know what else I would do? Yeah, it's too traumatizing. I can't. I can't talk about it. If I was homeboy director, man, I'm bringing three notepads, three pens. I'm sitting these ladies facing different directions. All three uh, draw what Cross you saw. Cross examination now. You're not allowed to cheat. Draw what you saw. Put them in three separate rooms. I don't trust them being looked at. Well, it's interesting right you said yeah. it had three horns because uh, uh, lady number two said two horns. I would want them to draw it. Even if you're terrible at art, fucking draw it, dude. But at the yeah. same time, it's like, are you going to go here and harass these people who are trying to tell you something that happened? Well, I wouldn't, oh, absolutely. That wouldn't be mean about it. Absolutely. I'd be like, could you draw it, please? But, but that's like, like, in a different room? Thank you. Well, I agree with you. Like, for scientific purposes, purposes that's exactly what they should do. But at the same time, it's like, you're going to meet these people and hear their story, and now you're gonna be like, I don't know if I believe you. Draw on this piece of paper. Well, not like that. You just be like, I'd love to see what you're what you saw. Could you I just could see it being kinda awkward trying to ask them shit like that. 
You know what I mean? I would just ask kindly that you draw it. That's all. I mean, you're gonna fly all the way out. They know that you flew all the way out here with the yeah. Camera. I mean, if you is fly that out so to much? Brazil. I'd be like, yo, can they you draw, draw on yeah, a fucking piece of paper? Doodle on a napkin? Flew all the way out here, draw me a stick figure or something. <sighs> yeah, so if he found, if like he did all the research on these ladies and is like, oh, I want to go meet them. Like, wh you, you're going there just to talk about stuff you already knew? Exactly. Yo, what up, Ray's PT? He's sitting here going, yeah. Yo, uh, Ray's, how you doing, so, man? Yeah, well, that's crazy. Well, Ray's has a good point. He said, I think the guy was so into this shit, he did all the research so much that now he can't, they, these people can't even tell him anything he doesn't already know. That's true. So yeah. he doesn't want to hear what they have to say. Yeah. So grateful to have had this opportunity to meet you guys. This is why I do what I do. And I want to thank you from, you know, bottom of my heart. All right, well, bye. Uh, yeah. That was not much, man. That wouldn't have been worth it. I'd be like, come on, this could have been an email. You can well, see, you call. can see the anger and regret in his face. That flight home. Oh, I really should have had a good point too. I really have, should have had more shit. He's this event shit. happened in 1996. I'm pretty sure they've had enough time to like rehearse their story together. That they've got it pretty down pat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. A lot of people love to talk about them. Rose of maybe uh, Truman, Ford. They say they know some shit, but then they say like Trump doesn't know. But I'm like, how does it get to the point where it's so secretive the current presidents don't know? Oh, the presidents know for they sure. The old presidents know, but the new ones don't. That's why I don't say nothing. I'm like, like how convenient. Just yeah. what if the Lale Lule Lo doesn't want even the president to know about? Yeah, I mean, President, <laughs> while he's like the head of the country, he's not in charge of everything. I haven't seen this one, Pops. I don't know what the hell this is. That's real! I don't know what to say. No, <laughs> say no. no. If you ever see somebody light up a cigarette indoors, know that they're fucking insane. Whoa, Louis. Just it's say hot no. Take, hot take, hot take. It's true. Yep. It's All true. Right. Well, take. how about that, folks, for our UFO rabbit hole for now? Until there's more. Until the Pentagon releases more. This June. This summer, it's coming. More Pentagon. Do you smell what the aliens have been cooking? Jokes aside, I find this shit so interesting, and I love it, dude. It's I so interesting. I thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. I'm so hyped for this. And yeah, if you guys find anything, you know, let us know. Oh, you guys find some stuff? Fuck it. I, get, I was sent, uh, Decrepit sent me that shit, dude. He found this uh, recording of, like, hours of... Uh, UFO reporting new uh, radio station mm. and it's crazy dude Weird. people because people have no reason to call they're all calm and they're like yeah I just uh, was with my wife and uh, glowy red thing and uh, yeah and then shh, thank you and then next caller <laughs> yeah I just saw something over the, the bridge and it <gasps> dude it's so cool man down the rabbit hole we go <laughs> now it's time for Mario Party <laughs> and you, you know we're drinking yes. you know we're drinking boys happy 420 Let's get it going. Let's get it going, Dad. Yeah. 